Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. It, it's been a while since I've played Musashi. I'm not gonna lie. And I kind of missed it. I... Also, I, 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 like I said, I know, I know I wasn't here on Tuesday because I was like, I, I was out touching grass. But yeah, no, we're back here now. Uh, on that note, though, on that note, I don't know how familiar y'all are with Sichuan peppercorns, but if y'all have never had, y'all never had like really good like Sichuan Chinese food, those peppercorns are great. They are great. Sichuan pepper, it's the one that makes you numb. And it legitimately does. It legitimately makes you feel like you've been to the dentist. The way that your mouth feels like it's vibrating after you've had a bunch of them. It's Somebody else described it really well. It's like, it's like eating electricity. And it's absolutely fucking fantastic. Hey there, kick. Hi, kick. What is that? <laughs> I... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know what that is. I know what that is. Who am I kidding? I know exactly what that is. I see that emote. And I know immediately what goes with that. I know immediately, immediately what corresponds to that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ba, 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 ba. Aha, 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 I don't even know how the fuck that noise. Just the noises. So the little creature noises from Lucky Star. Let me actually get let me get the, the Lucky Star version of it actually. Now that we're on that subject. That this is the thing I would this is the thing where I know that that is a direct reference to. Cause like I see that, right? I see the Poffendorf emotes, and I know immediately what that is. God! Why do you have to come on? Like, actually, no, don't, don't. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even mad. <laughs> Why am I even pretending like I'm mad? You come, yeah, you come on the stream. And you just fucking date me with that shit. And again, I mean, I have it in the goddamn tags. It's not like I'm having. It's not like it's a secret from anyone. It's not a secret in the slightest. So why am I acting like, oh no, you came into my stream and you dated me, ah! Oh! <laughs> Cause that's immediately what happens. Like you just post on like, wait, I recognize this. Like it's, it's, it's so obvious. The other one on the subject, now that we're on the subject of old shit like this. Now that we're on the subject of old shit like this, this is the one I always remember even more though. For whatever reason, this is the one I remember even more. Mamma Leo, Capirina, Capirina, Wa, Mamma Leo, Mamma Leo. Like, every time I hear the thing, that, that is really the one. When we get into, like, you get into shit like Poffendorf, Caramel Donson, Capirina. God, I miss, I miss when the internet was like that. I, I miss, I miss shit like Poffendorf and all that. Cause I mean, sh you can try and argue that skibbity toilet and such is just the current generation of kids' versions of that. And skibbity toilet, I will say skibbity toilet from the perspective of a filmmaker. So camera work, editing, all that kind of stuff. It is actually very surprisingly well produced. I will not deny that, but it doesn't hit the same. I think a lot of the reason why it doesn't hit the same is probably just because I'm old. I'm old now, but at the same time, like I, I still, I'm not going to be like, oh, it's terrible. And meh, 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 meh. Gmod idiot box is another one. Yeah. And if you really, 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 really want to get into it, you really want to get into it. Stuff like skibbity toilet and such, as much as people give it shit, that's ultimately coming from the same place. It's coming from the same place as the likes of Gmod Idiot Box, 
and Idiot's a Gmod, pregame lobby, red versus blue. And you can see a lot of the techniques that were pioneered in those older animations being used here. It's the same way, like same reason I really like it's the same reason I love Tokusatsu, really. That is my 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 angle for Tokusatsu is the filmmaking that go the, the filmmaking work that goes into it. Like I said, camera work, editing, the practical effects, the over-the-top practical effects. There is one thing, if there's one thing I would love to be able to do. It is I would love to be the guy who does pyro for Common Rider. The guy who does pyrotechnics for Common Rider must have some of the most fun. Just like, how am I going to make this explode today? And how am I going to do it without getting anyone hurt? That is, that is just the amazing, amazing process. That I feel like I, I see when I go, when I'm looking at the, uh, the, 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 the behind the scenes work for Tokusatsu. That's like the number one thing I'm thinking of though. It's like the guy who does the pyro for this probably has the best goddamn job in the world. Probably has the best goddamn job in the world doing pyro for Kamen Rider. Cause that, that, that just seems like an incredible, incredible bit to have. But anyways, let's actually get into it, shall we? Let's actually get into Musashi, shall we? Let me get up nice and cozy. There we go. Because, like I said, it's been a while since I've been here, and I fucking love this game. I, I absolutely fucking love this game. I have been enjoying the shit out of it the entire time I've been playing it, and I have seen a little bit ahead because of Slepnir. Oh, mailbox stuff. What do we got about mailbox? Drop cartridge, delivery sent. Let's see, menu. Mailbox, what do we get here? Check delivery, yes. Confirming, update rewards, yes. Login bonuses. Cause this game apparently used to be like a gotcha or something and then they just made it into a regular game. I don't know the full story on this one. Slep probably knows it better than I do. But apparently that that is what happened with Megaton Musashi. Is half of this used to be like a free-to-play whatever game. A free-to-play gotcha or whatever. And now they've just since made it into a full game. Let's see. Residential area. Let me head right this way. And this gets us... We're going to Oblivion Bay. Oh, 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 a shiny, a shiny. There's people that use Gmod for. It's kind of somewhere in between as the thing with it kick. It's kind of somewhere in between those two. And I guess that does put it in an awkward middle spot. Like you're saying that puts it in an awkward middle spot. Like you're saying. But in general, the, the core concept of what I'm saying here is... No, you did not kill him, Arsha. Arshim, you did not kill him. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Wait. Wait, who did she kill? She didn't kill us. Proper retribution. Oh, when they, when they went fur, when they turned into furries. That's what they're talking about. I was like, wait, who did you kill? Oh, and then I was like, wait, oh, it's when they turned into furries. That's what they're talking about. The bit where we had the fucking werewolf dude show up out of nowhere. And he dead ass looks like a, like a Universal Studios werewolf. This guy was, this was like, not even trying to be legally distinct. This shit was Universal Studios fucking Wolfman. Oh, shit. Okay.、Yeah。that kind of weighs on you. Oh, shit. I 
なぜテラーシとの共存が可能だと思われるんですか Very good point here, Arsham. He's making an incredibly good point here. And I'm going to say it again. I don't think that's going to happen. But if you're going to even try, the very, very minimum you're going to need is you're going to need to bring your mother's head on a platter. And that's not going to be, and that is not a choice I envy you for having to make. But that is what you're going to have to do in this situation. You are literally going to have to bring your mother's head on a platter, considering that, again, the bitch killed 90% of the population, drilled out the core of the planet, and made most of it, and made most of what was remaining uninhabitable. Uh, so, yeah, no, even if it's possible, it's gonna take a lot, and that's going to be the down payment. The down payment is going to be the your, your mother's head on a platter. I, I, I'm not even one of those people. Like, seriously, I, I hate that fucking bit. I hate that bit about the aliens aren't made in God's image. That shit got old. You could watch. You could watch in real time how the whole aliens aren't made in God's image stopped being a joke and just became dog shit. You could watch that shit in real time. It was incredible. Oh, yo, what did, what did he do? He fixed something on the... What did he fix on the thing? What did he... Let's see, what did you fix on the robot again? Huh? I am officially recognizing you as part of the Oblivion Base staff. Saw that one coming. Honestly, saw that one coming. It'd be too dangerous to run free knowing so many secrets. <laughs> and he's just thrilled for it. He's just absolutely thrilled for it. He does not care. <laughs> oh, wait, what? There's a what? How do you know that? How do you know that that's there? Androids were indistinguishable from humans before everything was destroyed. They were experimentally incorporated into human society. And yes. They used the Pandora. Oh no, are they gonna plug? Are they gonna plug Afro Boy into the machine and have him fly the city? Is the android going to fly the city? They're gonna have the android fly the city. Oh my god. They're gonna have an android fly the city. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> hey, speak of the devil. All I have on him is my eyesight. Send it wherever I go, being an underground. I, I mean... You were also running a gang for a little while, so... But it means he has quick reflexes. Who is Takumi again? Who is Takumi again? Takumi, 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 Takumi. I'm trying to remember who that is and if we've run into them. Yoka, run this way. Oh, hey. Oh, it's him! It's him! I was wondering. Oh, there's a shiny here. There's a shiny here. The game's trying to keep me from getting it. Reiji. Ah, yes. Fucking Reiji with the fucking. Ooh, ooh, more shinies, more shinies, more shinies. Lead on a scoop. Two out of four. Anything in here that we can go? No, we can't get in there, anyways. She doesn't do it on purpose, you know. It doesn't do what on purpose? Did I miss something important? I feel like I missed something important that they're talking about that's not coming to mind. It, it, that, that's an interesting way of phrasing that. It's a very interesting way of phrasing that. 
She looks for the shoe covered. Oh, no guy. No guy. Mm. Let's see. Go this way. Go this way. This takes me towards the bridge. Just keep heading to the right. And then we go up this way. I, I seriously, though, I love that they just gave him the roundest fucking hair they gave him like the roundest afro it's like the guy from inazuma 11 can't remember his name but he's the big guy the big guy who was always running away to the toilet and shit Ooh, do i have enough stamps let me see do i have enough stamps for anything that i would actually want to get Ooh, lead on a scoop i can get two leads on a scoop I could get decals as well. And then building materials. Okay. Keep that in mind. Keep a lookout for those because I know I'm eventually going to need to get those at some point. Just, I don't even need to, but that, that might be something. Wait, 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 wait. There was a shiny here. There was a shiny here. Ah, there it is. Mega metal. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing there. Head towards the bridge. Oh, cutscene time. Seriously, I love his design so much. I love his character design so much. Like, level, not just him, not just him. Level 5 in general just does such a fantastic job of character designs. Because I'm going to bring it up again. Inazuma 11, I love the way they made, like, so many of the actual characters that matter look. Like, Inazuma 11 had a problem. Inazuma 11 didn't have a problem. A lot of the times when they were making character designs, they, they made the main character stand out like really well. But at the same time, they had a really weird habit in at least the Inazuma 11 anime of making so many of the characters just look weirdly old. Like half of the Rybon team, half of the Rybon team just looked like middle-aged men <laughs> and these are supposed to be middle schoolers i'm gonna remind you again these are supposed to be middle schoolers but they make some of them just look like jeez man go home to your like why are you look so why are you so old what are you doing here go home to your family <laughs> i won't do that dumping waste is a crime is my existence really useful to society after all? You're gonna fly the ship, bro. Am I helpful? Am I a nuisance? Does she not have any friends? Well, no. Oh, yeah, he just remembered! Glasses, bro! Yeah, go, go. Go vibe with glasses, bro. Go vibe with glasses, bro, dude. Oh. Oh, is there some... Oh, the... He's gonna save the dog. Let's go! Oh, look at the little bubble. Look at the little guy. こいつが足を怪我してるの上から見てわかったから。うん。ちょっと心配。ちょっと心配。ちょっと心配。ちょっと心配。ちょっと心配。ちょっと心配。ちょっと心配。ちょっと心配。ちょっと心配。ちょっ
get a Robo Armageddon. But if you haven't, that if nothing else, it is worth watching for that scene. It is a hundred percent worth watching Get a Robo Armageddon for that scene. I mean, it's not the only thing on Get a Robo Armageddon, but that scene is that good. That scene is that good. No, not no. I don't want the song. I don't want the song. I want the actual scene because the scene is so good. The scene is so good. And then the music that comes on when it plays it too, that just really makes it all come home. It brings the whole thing home. It's such a good moment. Where is browser capture at? Browser capture. Open you up. Well, look at this shit. Da, da, da. Yanks him down. Oh, wait, y'all can't see it. Shit. Y'all can't see it. Shit, 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 shit. There we go. There we go. Like, look at this shit. The yank down and then the lightning. Da, and the music on top of it all just makes it so. It just makes it all so perfect. And after this, and just before this, they had been haunted by specters of people who who had died trying to make them miserable. But then the ghosts, the actual ghosts come back and it's like, go, fucking go. You've got this. Don't let them bring, don't let the bastards bring you down. <coughs> and now they are manifesting, manifesting that into the stutter sunshine to vaporize Vaporize the inf invader infested Sao Tome, along with, I don't know, no, Conan and Stinger aren't in this, but yeah, no, the invaders who've taken over Sao Tome. And in this moment, oh yeah, there's Cohen, there's Stinger. So it is Cohen and Stinger as well, getting fucking wiped by the stoner sunshine. And in this moment, Sao Tome finally returns to himself, free of the invader's grasp, and is like, go for it! Finish what I started! <laughs> and like, the invader's trying to escape, he's like, oh, hell no you don't! You're dying here with me! It is such a Kino moment, and I adore it for this. It's like, this is the last, this is the end of the road that I've laid for you. Now take destiny to your own hands and forge a new future. It is such a peak moment, absolutely peak moment. And like I said before, if nothing else, if for nothing else, Get Her Over Armageddon is worth it for that scene. It is so good. It is such a good scene. I'd say I think it's I think it's a good series overall, but if nothing else, it is worth it for that scene. It is a hundred percent worth it. Worth watching for that scene. Cause that scene is so good. Oh, you know, drop your ass on the Bro, I don't think you have a choice in this matter anymore. I don't think you have a choice in this matter anymore. <laughs> Yo, he's got the targeting interface and everything. Yeah. What do you think? What is this? Why? What is Citra? What is Citra, Limey Blasts? I feel like you're referencing something, but I don't know what it is. Oh, he put her on the ground. He wasn't even trying to, but he put her on the ground. Damn. Oh, this music kind of fucks. I really wish this part was playable. Imagine, like I said, like a 2D beat em up as like spacing out the actual robot combat sections as well. Oh, <laughs> I think she wasn't expecting that. Oh, oh no! Yeah, Momoka, he's an android. He's an android, Momoka. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's cool. He just—he is just Mr. Robot Man. Anta ga robot ne. Konna ni ningen poi no ni. 
Yeah, no, he gets that a lot. That is, um, I, that is still, that is still just a shocking concept to me. A robot whose entire existence is meant to be that, like I said, he tanks aggro from bullies. So this. Like that—that that is his entire reason for existing. Is he tanks aggro from bullies? So I, I, I would love to know who actually came up with this idea. I would absolutely love to know who came up with this idea. Who thought this was a solution? Oh, that's why you don't need to teach me any self-defense. And you don't have to talk to me like we're friends. I don't just... Oh, no! Oh, no! They made the robot! Oh, no! No, 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 no. Even if you were built with the express purpose of tanking aggro from bullies, you shouldn't be this much of a doormat when somebody tries to honestly help you. Jeez. Kota. She's about to call him an idiot. Call it right now. You're about to call him a fucking moron. Because he's a fucking moron. Yeah, no, that's exactly what I'm like, Irving. That's exactly what I'm like right now. Just like, uh. Also, don't you, don't you shit on my man's haircut. Don't you shit on my man's haircut. Oh, somebody's showing up at the door. Oh shit, it's the G, it's, it's the G man. Oh, she got the Android or AF Sunzen type. Look at me go. Oh, my was then he hiked on a day. Hike manual in his tag at the shorty Sasetemura. Hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up! We will depart shortly. This is a top secret national project. Please understand. Um, calling it right now. Somebody's gonna get like tased or some shit like that. Could I go? Uh, come with us. I understand. I'll go with you. Spineless! Absolutely spineless! It's alright, my duties have been fulfilled. I've served my purpose. I just waste to be disposed of now. I've paid my dues. I've sold my soul. So tell me what is left for me when I've given up everything. Sir, purpose. Yeah, so you can forget about me now. I was waiting for her to all. I was waiting for him to call him a dumbass. I was waiting for him to call him a dumbass because my man here is. Oh, he is stupid. You're the same as any human, no more than that. You have a heart. You're not trash to be thrown away. You're just a human born with a ro- No! No, it's the other way around, Bodo! It's the other way around! It's the other way around! What the hell are you talking about? Bobaka, you got it backwards! <laughs> Drop his ass! Drop his ass! 
<laughs> but it's still three on two. I mean, it's still three on one because one of y'all is not even gonna try. <laughs> yeah, go! Bro, go! Saotome Momoko. Soreto. Do not let them near those kids. Oh, no, 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 I think, you know, he wasn't there for that. Never mind. He wasn't there for that. Oh, no. What's going on with Joan? Is she? Oh, no. She, they just put her in the trauma machine. Like, what's going on? What, what happened to Joan? And then I recognized that chair. It's like, oh, they put her in the trauma machine. Oh. Oh. Yeah, no. I think she might. You, you might have broken her, Yamato. You might have broken her. Does that mean we're going to have three of them now? Does that mean we're going to have three megatons? Oh. 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 No, 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 no. That's a different machine, Irving. That's a different machine. That, I know I know what machine you're talking about. That's a different machine. No, this is the trauma machine. This is the trauma machine. No, 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 no. Bro. I, I make jokes about that thing all the fucking time. I make jokes about that fucking machine all the fucking time. Like, I use Fukuna's, I use Fukuna Shoujo as a filter to see whether or not someone is a bitch. I do it all the goddamn time. I use Fukuna Shoujo as a filter to see whether or not someone's a bitch all the time. It's the same for me. It's like, all these gnawing feelings are... I have not seen that one! But I'm not surprised it exists. I'm not surprised it exists at all. <laughs> I watched you all fighting the other day. Hell yeah, Irving. Hell yeah. It made me feel alive, and I wanted to fight like all of you. <laughs> You're enthusiastic. I can't do nothing but train. This keeps up. I'll talk to the captain. There is a bit coming up that I got spoiled on. There's a bit coming up that I got spoiled on by Slepnir that I thought either... Was it a bit that... Here, or was that... Have I seen it already, or was I watching Slepnir do it? Either way, I saw that, and I was like... Whoever did the translation for this, whoever did for the translation for this deserves to be put in that machine as well. Because they just, they had to make it, they had to do like some real stupid shit like that. I forget if we've seen it already. If we have, then it was in the previous VOD. If we have it and we get to it, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It is horse shit. It's absolute horse shit. Not quite as bad as the Fire Emblem Three Houses uh, disaster, but it's stupid. It's legitimately stupid. Not until I've drilled the basics into you. I'm tired of playing games. Say no, that means no! I don't think that doing the pien face is going to help you here, Jun. I really don't. I think that he kind of has a point. I don't see the harm in letting her try. Uh, Sayaka! Not you two! Well, shit's going down! Go! <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh god, let's see what this is, Reverend. Let's see what this is. You've got me like. Well, you got me morbidly curious what the bonus is. Okay, that is perfect. That is perfect. <laughs> oh, is that a Funger reference? That's a Funger reference. <laughs> okay, that was actually really good. 
I'm not gonna lie. That's really good. That's really good. This is what Irving sent me, by the way. This is what Irving just sent me. Wow, that is a goddamn Funger reference. <laughs> yeah, Kahara soy face here. <laughs> Oh, I have never even played Fear and Hunger. I only know about Fear and Hunger because I know Jones and I know Mao. I've never actually played it myself. I, sh I sh probably should at some point, but I, I just haven't bothered to. Uh, <laughs> But well, you got two people right here, Ginta. You got two people right here. Yeah, 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 here we go. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Yeah, all I can think of with her saying how like she's done the training and such, all I can think of is the is Knights of Sidonia. And they have this whole scene where you get to see like a character's like the one of the characters' backstories right before they get killed. And this is a completely inconsequential character, and you're just getting to see like how they like celebrated her getting you know getting qualified as a pilot and such. And on her first sortie, she just dies. She just gets flattened. It's a bit of a weird moment. It's a bit of a weird moment that I still I don't quite get what they were trying to do there, and it feels kind of just randomly mean spirited. But at the same time, it is also kind of like a moment. It's like show. It is kind of a moment of showing just how unforgiving a battlefield can actually be, and how like even someone who's like totally trained can just seize up in the moment and freeze, and, and just get killed because they freeze. I guess that's kind of what they were doing there. And, but yeah, I, and I guess that's why I'm thinking about it. That's probably why I'm thinking about it. That's how my run in, went in Banner Saga 2. Banner Saga, Banner Saga, Banner Saga. What the hell is Banner Saga? I'm not actually familiar with this. Let me see. Banner Saga. Oh, this looks neat. This looks neat. Oh, please, you've been paying me all this time. I can do this crunch. That's what you mean. <laughs> Don't make us regret this, Jun. Don't make us regret this, Jun. It's a choice of whether her or her dad gets crunched. You know what else I'm thinking of is fucking Muvlov. That's the other thing I'm thinking of is Muvlov. Especially what's its nuts. The Total Eclipse anime. Because uh, here's the thing. I never was really the big fa biggest fan of Muvlov, the, the visual novel. And it's not because it's a bad visual novel. It's not a bad visual novel. But I have a thing about mecha visual novel. Mecha being like really incompatible with visual novels because you are taking something super dynamic and trying to stuff it into the medium of static images and just click read and it doesn't work for me but so there's one of the anime annotations for it total eclipse which is not great in case you're wondering but it has a moment in it that i do really like where they do something very similar and they're showing what they call the eight minutes of death the eight minutes of death this is like a flashback another character had. This is a character having like a flashback of the initial beta invasion of Japan and all the people they got to watch die, right? Because this is early, early, early on in the beta conflict. Second gen TSFs were just coming onto the field. So most stuff was still first gens like F4s and so on. And you, you, you get to see why they called it the eight minutes of death at the time. Because like some person can survives like eight minutes and one second, they get cocky and then they get swarmed by tank class beta and the cockpit gets ripped open. You get to hear them die in excruciating detail. Let's see what we got here. Anything else interesting? Oh, new side missions. Oh no, those are replay missions, not side missions. Never mind. 
Those aren't new. Oh. Oh, new stage of the challenge mission. Very nice. Special unit retrieval duty and lineage of V. Ooh. Ooh, what do we have here? We're well over the power threshold, that's for sure. Oh, I've already done this. Never mind. I've already done this. I thought I hadn't done this for whatever reason. No, these are the ones I haven't done yet. And my 11 Aorta. Okay, I haven't even done the normal one yet. I have, it's not even like a case of, oh, you haven't done the higher difficulty yet. I haven't done this one at all. So let's get rocking. Let's get rolling. Also, something I can imagine right here. Something Every time I see this sequence, I know they have their own like deployment music for it, but all I can think of is the hangar music from the Yuki Kaze OVA. Yo, we get to watch. You get to watch the jet being rolled out onto the elevator, brought up to the runway. You've got the lights going around, like the warning lights going around on the edges of the elevator as the platform's coming up. And it is just a banger. It is a banger of a track for something as simple as it is. Because it, it is really is. It is literally just the hangar music. And they put, they made some, and they made some fucking keto shit for that. Okay, what do we got? Two units deployed. I need to get more paint colors. I need to get more paint colors. Start searching, start searching. Contact! No, you don't! Hello! Up, 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 up. Oh, I already got that one. Okay. Soldier slugger. Area's clear. Down this way, then. Bison's impact. Heaven's sword. That thing was too big to be called a sword. Too thick, too heavy, and far too rough. It was little more than a slab of raw iron. No. Ooh, we got a purple of that. Bonk. Goodbye. This is the only frames that we've got right now, Irving. These are the only frames that really I've got right now are the heavy frames. I haven't gotten any of the light frames except for, like the closest I've gotten to any of the light frames are the collab mecha, like Combatler V and Grendizer. And Grendizer's all right. Grendizer actually looks really cool. What I'm really waiting for is I'm, I, I need to unlock Get a Robo. That's the one I really want to get of the collab robots is Get a Robo. But I'm also super sad that the only Get a Robo in the game is the original one that we don't have Shin Get a Robo in particular. Because like Shin Get a Robo is my shit. Shin Get a Robo, I was mentioning Get a Robo again before. Shin Get a Robo is 100% my shit. No, no time for you to survive. Get in there. That's how we switch robots. That's right. I decided to play this instead of Tsukihime and I still got a visual novel. What did you decide to play instead of Tsukihime? Wait, I missed the what the con I missed the context of that. What did you decide to play instead of Tsukihime where you still got a visual novel? Oh, yes. 
Oh, it's a review from Megaton. I mean, the cutscenes are kind of visual novel style, but you have gameplay between the VN. You have gameplay to go with the VN segment, so I'd say that's like totally fine. I don't understand why anybody would complain about that. Because you actually have, like I said, the interruption of the VN bits with actual gameplay where it feels really good. I forgot there's a charge swing. Donk. <laughs> Hello, Emmerich. Yes, big fat tacos. Big fat tacos, so big. <laughs> big fat tacos, a big fat. Oh my God, it's one of these. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Megaton punchy! Next break! Back, 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 back! Swing! Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? What did you lock? What did you off? Only greens! Go fuck yourself! Next time, drop good loot. Damn. Next time, drop good loot if you're gonna die like a bitch like that. I think I got like one purple. I got like one purple and that's it. <laughs> Yes, auto dismantle as specified. Oh, we got, yeah, one purple. It's another revolver cannon. Another good rank. It's rank 10. Yeah, you're kind of screwed over here. Receive and continue. Maybe we'll eventually be able to make it into something better. We'll see about that. Placing that in a recycle box and making it into new parts. MI 12 minefield. Let's see here. Attribute level. Purple slash, red boing, red, uh, red star, red shoot. Customization. So we have a good starting weapon for this, actually. Let's swap you out for, I don't know what is the thing. Something that has flame shot though. I'll be out for something that's flame shot. Well, what do we have that is comparable that has flame shot? That's gonna be the tricky part I can already see from here. Oh, we've got a revolver cannon that actually fits the bill. And then we'll swap you out for, ooh. I did not know I had you in the inventory. That makes things incredibly simple for me. Rogue hanger. I can put that revolver cannon here actually. And then that works out. Yeah, that works out. Okay, good. Swap you out for, I don't know, maybe a control shotgun or something similar like that. Yeah, actually, that works out pretty well. Control shotgun there. Hand cannon there. Photon roller there. Steel piercer there. That works out. That works out. Knight's bastard as the starting weapon. And then for you. Yeah, put you there. There we go. Now we're set to go. Yes. And now we are set to go. It just Keep bullying Dractors. Keep keep calm and bully Dractors. That is gonna be this entire game, and that's this entire game in a nutshell. Jesus Christ, that's a whole ass house. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. 
swear to God, this music reminds me of a band I recently started listening to called Alive and Stone. Uh, not even the whole band, just one specific song by them. It reminded me of it reminds me of the, the 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 hook from Skin. Just, midnight swim. Don't cry, it's just pretend. All they ever were to me is just skin. What? Blade kick. Hell yeah. What you got? We got 9 TP right now. Okay. Ooh, got a purple out of that. Thank you very much. Oh, another one. Another one. Hell yeah. Let's see. This is Final Destination. Grab whatever's in these. It's probably not going to be anything of particular value, but we'll grab it over here. Time to enemy assault. Oh, box, 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 box. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hello, you're purple. Get back here. Yeah, I'll be taking those from you. Oh, he's shielded, he's shielded, he's shielded, he's shielded. Speed the driver! Do do still in good condition. I'm still in good condition. How many are left? Oh, more horns. Can I get a two for one? Spin! No, but I can't paralyze them both. Oh, that is such a good skill for busting through their shields, too. That is such a good skill for busting through their shields. You just start slamming on them, and eventually they get stun locked. It's so good. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, is it boss time now? Is it boss time now? Yes, it's boss time now. Ah, it's Big Horn. It is Big Horn. Well, I got plenty of shit. I've got plenty of, yeah, got plenty of the gas. Got plenty of gas in the tank for you, sir. They got on Pachi. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me the rest of the TP. Give me the rest of the TP so I can. I need TP for my manhole. <laughs> Come on, get over 100. Ah, not quite. Goodbye. Ooh, I was like, ooh, is that a perp? Nah, it wasn't a purple. Damn. Like, give me purples. Damn. Kakugo energy. That probably would have been like the exact moment to pop the Kakugo as well. Cause it's not like I'm gonna, it's not like I need to save it between missions. Yes, auto dismantle specified items, thank you. Oh, I got so many purples out of that actually. Mad Bison body, Mad Bison arm, control baton, pile gap. That looks crazy and I wanna try that now. I don't know what this thing is. It looks cool and I want to try it now. It's it's literally a pile bunker gun. It, it's 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 a that's actually that's what it is. It's a pile bunker gun. And I want it. I want it. Shadows that swallows the desert. Ooh, that's 22. Am I set up for that? 
Oh, not quite. Not quite. Let's see if I can get up there, though. Let's see if I can get up there. That's going to be the interesting part. Got to remember, we also want to try and stick with set bonuses. Our current setup is... 12 on the body keep that in mind also keep in mind that a lot of these downgrades that we're seeing are not taking into account the set bonuses let's see what we've got to work with Ooh, mounter police rank 16 that's an option we've also got mad bison but we don't have most of the mad bison set we have Kaiser as well. Do we have any other Kaiser parts? That's the other thing we gotta ask now. Filter. We don't have anything there that lets us filter sets. This is going to be a little tricky. Karandi, Mounter Police, Combat Lure V, Grandizer. Oh, we don't have any Kaiser parts aside from the body. Shit. So not actually super useful here. We only have the one Mad Bison part. So our best bet's probably going to be Ma Mounter Police then. Okay. Mounter Police or Karandi? Let's try Karandi, see if we can get that going. Karandi, Karandi, Karandi. Ooh, ooh, we're getting somewhere now. We're getting somewhere now. Arthur, Karandi, Karandi, legs. Do we have good Karandi legs? Not really. But maybe we'll see. Um, no, that doesn't really work. Our best bet is going to be using... Yes. Let's see, that's Mad Bison left arm. I kind of like the way this looks, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie at all. I do kind of like the way this combination looks. I do wish I had another Mad Bison arm. Wait! Wait! Part weight development, specified development. Ah, I don't have enough. Shit. Let's roll it. Let's roll it. Let's roll it and see if we can get something good. Brahm soldier legs. Not what I asked for. Karandi left arm rank 24. That's not too bad actually. Brahm soldier body. Mounter police legs. Brahm soldier legs. Mounter police body. Actually, wait, 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 wait. What about recycling? Reform jump. Give me something better than just freeform junk. Jump. 
Junk legs. Freeform junk. Into the box. Let's see. What are you? Melee weapons. Junk weapon. get out of it okay that's actually really good let's think here I could do Karandi or Mounter Police I want to do Mounter Police Baton. Heavy Metal Mace. Drill Crusher. I really like Control Baton, so we're going to do that. See if we get something better as a result afterwards. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that was worth it. That was worth it if for nothing else to see what our other options are. Matter Police, because I do, I legitimately do really like the Matter Police set. Rank 21. Let's see. If we go and do this now. Customization. Rogue hanger. We might be able to do a full Mounter Police set, which means we're going to get the set bonuses.
like even more of a drooling retard than I usually feel like. Oh my god, there's so much shit here! I've got so much recycled materials! Holy shit! <laughs> I'm gonna get so much shit out of this! Come on, just go running through it. I really want to see. The game's probably gonna have a moment. I can feel right now. The game's gonna have a moment where it's like, what the fuck are you doing? Have a moment like, what the fuck are you doing? What I should have done ages ago. That's the answer. What I'm doing here is what I should have done ages ago. Yes. We've still got more to go after that. But it at least is a starting point. No, screw it. We can do it this way. Pull out the mouse so that we don't have to, like, scroll down constantly on the controller menu and give myself carpal tunnel syndrome. I don't even know what half of this shit does. And that's probably not a great idea. But some of this might actually be somewhat useful. But we can get, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. For now, it becomes material that I can use. So, well. All right, actually, I think that's enough actually for us to go and use right now. No, 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 no. More junk. Yes, recyclable too, very nice. Junk legs. Oh, that's huge, actually. No, I didn't want to do that. I've got a whopping 86 junk weapons to throw in the box now. Oh boy, how much freeform junk do I have is the next question. I've got 33. Let's actually level some shit up first. And then we can decide where we want to go with that. Thinking we can use, yeah, I like the control shot a lot. We we'll use that as our first recycle to see if we get anything else interesting once it levels up. Ooh, we got a couple of things here. Stuff I haven't actually seen before. Like the Mad Breaker. I don't know what you are. But you're interesting. Let's see here, double blade, iron blade, control baton. Let's see if we get anything interesting out of that. Not really. Let's do a steel crusher or maybe, no, let's do a drill crusher. Let's do a drill crusher, see what we get. If maybe it'll level up after this. Legendary rate is now 4%. Ooh. And then we can put the junk in there. And let's see if that gives us anything new interesting to maybe try building. All divider. That literally is just the dragon slayer. That is literally just the dragon slayer. Thor breaker. Very nice. Heat war axe. Knight's bastard. Control baton. Mm. 
something here that I think is really interesting. Let's see. I don't know what Mad Breaker... It's a bazooka of some type, but I don't know what it's actually like. Control Shot, Gatling Ballast, Steel Piercer. Let's try getting a better Steel Piercer. Okay. So now I need more materials for that. Thor Breaker. Rate's now 5% arms. Ooh, what does the Brahm Soldier look like? Because we could do Brahm Soldier, we could do Arthur. Let's do an Arthur. Let's do an Arthur roll. Third, 23 Arthur. Let's do two Arthurs. We'll see which one I like better and probably scrap the one I don't like. Uh, let's keep running Arthur set stuff though. Okay. Arthur here as well. And then legs. Let's run an Arthur set here. Because the Arthur set is actually really nice. Left arm. We try rolling for another mounter police. It's probably the, actually probably the same thing to do. Now let's do a let's try a Brom soldier actually because I do want to start looking into uh, getting other part sets. I do eventually want to start getting looking into other part sets. And we're gonna need to start unlocking those if we're gonna do that. Dismantle. Auto select filters. Basically everything, yeah. We can't actually dismantle anything that's been equipped. Keep that in mind. Oh, that's above specified, not below. Ah, uh, I thought that was below specified rank. Ah, Mechanic Cat. You know, I didn't even think about the Metabots comparison, Mechanic Cat. It does fit, though. It does fit now that you're mentioning it. God fucking damn it. It fits. You mentioned the Metabots comparison. I didn't even think about it. It fits. Fuck. Auto select. Yes. Very good. Ah, oh, these are all already equipped. That's why. Okay. Recycle. Let's start putting the resources in. How much, dude? I know there's so much shit in general that I miss. Metabots. The um, I didn't even know I actually liked this until I saw it recently. But the fuck was it called? Motor City. Have you did you have you ever watched Motor City? I loved that shit. I watched that with Peony recently. 
She was streaming that on the Southside Discord. It's so fucking good. If you have not seen Motor City, you need to. It's fantastic. Okay, it means I don't have anything there that can be done. Let's see. Let's do another... Hmm. Let's do another revolver cannon. See if maybe this will actually... It's so cool, isn't it? It's so good! Oh, it's level up too, but I don't know what it's got in it. Dismantle real quickly. Auto select filters. No, we don't actually want to do that because we actually just made some of those. We gotta think about this shit. Rogue hanger. We just made a bunch of Arthur parts. So let's start, let's start kitting them out. Mounted police, Arthur. 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 Let's think here. Melee weapons. That's already a huge boost to his stats, though. Holy shit. We went from, like, what was it? 120k to one, almost 160, and it's about to get better. It's about to get better. Let's think here. Stuff that's not currently equipped on another frame. Ooh, the control baton? That can probably stay for now, because that gives him good stat variation. We could go to one of the drill crushers we just made. Yeah, that brings up like 163. Oh, that's only rank 11, wow. That That's not good. It's still over leveled for main story stuff, but I was hoping we'd have more stuff that's better. Your control shot. And then what are you? You are currently rank six, which is pathetic. Let's go rank 17. These are both beam. I do want to get some variation in the elemental values here. So let's look. You. That's already a huge improvement for you. And let's see. You swap for Iron Sword. You for... Ooh, we've got that rank 21 Thorbreaker. Oh, we have a lot of options here, actually. Ooh, that rank 17 Knight's Bastard is perfect. And then you for... Ooh, I think you can actually stay for now. Okay. And that brings you up to almost 170k. Hell yeah. That is a huge improvement over where we were before. I'll, 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 I think we can stand and say that for a little while until we get more parts to throw in the recycle. <laughs> I think we can stay at that until we get more parts to throw in the recycling. Like, why have I been wasting all this matter right on gotcha rolls? that aren't really gonna get me anything. I should have just been using the part recycling this whole time. I mean, obviously I'll probably have to come back to using the Matterite stuff later to try and get better stuff. But for now, yeah, I know. I should probably just stick to using the part recycling. That is actually really good for this. So we're still not quite set up for that. Like we could maybe probably survive. It's like a 2K difference but it's gonna be a lot tougher. Mm. But for now, actually, let's see here. Story mission. Unknown cosmic rays. Hold up! Hey, it's Getter! It's Getter! Hell yeah! Look at him! 
Look at him! Load balancer, parameter, sinus. I do wonder. I want to talk about this with Slab. I wonder if perhaps the original Japanese version of this game had the actual theme music and they had to swap it out because of licensing issues because it would just be impossible to get all the shit licensed over here for one reason or another. And if that's the case, that is a tragedy. In particular because of the Combatler V theme. I love the Combatler V theme. Hey, hey, hey! Victory! Combine! One, two, three, four, five! Da 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 da! Joden shi yo yo! Joden shi tatsumaki! Joden shi spin! Oh, get her tomahawk! Yo, wait, I just know the skill was we have the get her beam! Get her tomahawk fire spitter, okay. God, imagine if they had actually done a continuation of Motor City. Imagine if they had actually done a continuation of Motor City. No, you're not running away. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Oh, it's boss time. Boss time. Gun. Fusion type. Get up! Beam! Goodbye! <laughs> Ooh, a purple. And that unlocks Getter Robo. They did a really good job on this Getter design, by the way. They did a really good design on this Getter job on this Getter Getter design. Ready up, new record. Getter Tomahawk. Autobus man will specify items. Yes, thank you. Ooh, we got like a bunch of purples out of that actually. Hell yeah. Heat War Axe, Bison's Impact, Pointer Ray. Scaling Ballast, Electrified Attack, Master Key Piece, yes. Oh, you know, I don't really remember Acceleracers. Yo, you know what that means? That we, I need to watch Acceleracers now. Fuck. <laughs> That's what that means. I need to watch Acceleracers. Sorry about that. What was I saying though? Oh yeah. I I need to watch Acceleracers then because I don't remember Acceleracers. Shit. Master and Pupil. Maximus. Oh, there is an that is an idea actually, Mechanic Cat. Cannot edit this unit. Okay. Let's see what Maximus can do then. Let's see what Maximus is capable of. <laughs> I think he's just concerned, Jun. When you see enough people die, you, you start to get, you start to have those moments of just like, you see someone getting cocky, you're thinking, oh no, I'm gonna, this is another one that's gonna die. Speed and mobility surpass even the Musashi. Yep. Let's see that. Stay frosty out there, kid. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god, this is what I was talking about! This is what I was talking about right here! 
They they could have just said like Gramps or old man. You don't have to be like the boomer thing does not fit I here. It doesn't fit. Why are you doing this? She's not even she's saying Osan, which is basically old man. It, it this is that is not going to age well, and it's not funny. Ah, hate it. I, 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 I. This translation has been. I'm talking to Slep. This translation has been generally decent, and then they have to go and throw that bullshit in there. Maximus. Show me what you got. It does look cool though. It does legitimately look cool. I'm not gonna lie. But let's see what the Maximus has in store. Huh? Rogue is more than a simple machine. It will respond to your emotions. Not too hard, not too soft on the yoke. When you depress the pedal. Like, seriously, I, I just want to know why they thought that was a good idea. Then again, that's pretty much all of, like, really stupid localization stuff. That's how I feel about all of it. It's just like, why did anyone think this was a good idea? Why did anyone think this was a good idea? This is not going to age well. And in many cases, it's going to mean that it will need a retranslation in about 10-ish years to strip it out of all of the super dated references and oh so funny jokes. Yo, this has got like fucking pod racer engines on its back. It's got pod racer engines on its back. I just noticed that. Like it's got the, or like the getter wings. That's what they're kind of like. Almost like they almost look like the getter wings. What do we got weapon wise? Soldier sword, bull burster. What do we got? Two three TP cl th two three TP skills. Okay. Keep moving. Let's see. Oh, we've got some options here for buffs. Let's think. So we're not because we're not using one of our own rogues. Let's see here. Attack, speed, defense, crit, speed. Cause I'm already getting a feel for what this thing's shtick is gonna be. And it's shtick is go. It's entire shtick is go. Oh, yeah. Southern cross end. We got something here. She looks high. Is it just me or does she look high? <laughs> she's got like the, she's got like that look to her. She looks like she's high. <laughs> don't get cocky now, Jun. Yeah, don't get cocky now. Listen to Ginta, he's got a point. There we go, he called it. Called it! And that shook her out of it for sure. That shook her out of it. I'll be my true self again. Yeah, no, they, they put her in the, again. Gita, you weren't there. They put her in the trauma machine and she had one hell of a ride. Ground wave! 
<laughs> you don't believe! Oh, we got stuff here. We got stuff here. Anything good? More tachyon recovery. Okay. Tachyon! Tachyon! Yeah? Yeah? Where is the second? Ah, there he is! There he is! There's my boy in the over leveled in the over leveled death machines. So we swap? Yeah, we can. Also, I'm really glad they don't, like, default you to a, a standard Musashi and they actually let you bring your shit in. It's like, they're not, like, trying to stop you from bringing actually good shit if you've got it. Because that would have sucked so much. It's like, no, you will use what we say you'll use. I'm like, no. No, no, I won't. Cope. Okay, those are different. Oh? 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 What do we got here? What do we got here? Multi target. How do we use these? Is it going to be a skill thing or is it going to be a new weapon? Oh, it is a new move. Okay. Oh, it's her. Oh, they're going to make me wait. <laughs> okay, that is a cool fucking move, though. That is a cool fucking move. I like that. I like that a lot. And boss time. Crow fusion type. What is the target? Well, beat the shit out of this bird. Who's left? Who's left? Cause I'm seeing it looks like there might be survivors. Oh no, there isn't. That was the last one. Again, I think she might be a little high. I think she might be she might be feeling a little high after that. You, you don't want all of those at once, Jun. You don't want all of those at once. That's just gonna be a mess. That's just gonna be a mess. Although a parfait would be good right now. Fuck. I'm not gonna lie. A parfait would actually be pretty good right now. Yes. Epic. Master key piece. Thank you for that mechanic cat. Stopping me now. <laughs> She's high again. She's high again. Every time. Tired of having to protect you, little girl. Oh, oh, she's being a little brat now. <laughs> and I do know, I do know though, at some point, 
At some point, I know who's gonna join these two, and it's gonna be a fucking funny moment. I was spoiled on that, and I know it's gonna be a funny fucking moment. might be a challenge in the future. Oh, hey, there's... Yep. Yep. Here we go. South of it. Momoka, you're being drafted. You're being drafted, Momoka. Oh, boy. Yes. You, Android, fly the city. I need only you can fulfill. Yes. Yes, you, Koda. There is something that only you can do. Let's see then. Where is this going to lead to? That's the real question. Oh, I just noticed she's not possessed right now. Asana is not possessed right now. Let's see if Soji is. Because I know Soji was possessed by like two different guys up to this point. First was the, the dude that we got to see get wiped when they turned into the fucking, when they turned into the werewolf. That's what I want to know too. Bro, the... Oh no. Yeah, he's got you. He's got you. あなたの正体は異星人ですよね。もう逃げられないぜ。だとしてどうする？許され。Don't you be smug about it. Don't you be smug about it. だからどうだという。<laughs> oh! You were talking about that good shit, then you got kicked in your chest! <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit, he's got the lines! He's got the glowing lines! Oh, he gonna whoop your ass! He has been activated. Oh no! Oh! Oh, he's gonna get dropped again. She got possessed right behind him. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Kyoki. You don't know shit. You don't know shit. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. And um, I don't think you're gonna change his mind overnight, bro. I don't think you're gonna change his mind overnight, princess. I'm gonna say it again. Considering what led up to this current state we're in, this is a very dangerous bet you're making right now. I was gonna say, do you remember what happened last time? Do you remember what happened last time, Yamato? Huh? Yeah, the fucking werewolf. No. No. Oh, three. Three, two. It's three, two now. Hmm. I mean, three has been enough for most of you assholes. Sure, that was in the Musashi, but still. Yeah, 
Mm-hmm. He, he does remember. So he does remember. Oh, no, 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 no. Nosy girl's gonna get in the way and it's gonna turn into a disaster. Well, maybe if it would help if you didn't try to kill half of kill 90% of them. I know that was your mother, but still. Were you even around? Okay, I'm actually kind of curious if, also, if Arsham was even around when that happened. That's the interesting thing. Yeah, no, like, Yamato's entire thing here is like, we're supposed to believe that bullshit. Yamato's entire perspective here is completely understandable. It is completely understandable. Again, I would just like to remind the panel that what the Dractors have done up to this point is kill 90% of the global population, render almost the entire planet uninhabitable, and then bore out the planetary core. I would just like to remind everyone here, that is the extent of the damage they have done. Yamato is being extremely considerate here, not immediately going for it. Sure, it's under the threat of the fact that they're gonna turn into, that they have that other form that, they're gonna turn into the fucking, they're gonna turn into the fucking monsters that are like way too strong for him to fight, hand to hand. But he is being extremely patient and understanding here. Yeah, I think that's Yamato's entire point, Arsham. Okay, start talking. Start talking. Start talking. I mean, she has at least made at least, she has made at least one good faith gesture before by killing what's his name earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, completely understandable considering the magnitude of what led up to this situation. Oh. Oh, they left. They left, and now the original owners of those bodies are back. Yep, unconscious. I would be having that as well. A little bit more shocked and less exasperated, but still. Oh, I've got news for you, Teru. I've got news for you, Teru. Yamato, Yeah, yeah, it's kind of hard to believe. Entirely, understandably hard to believe. But, you'll excuse me, I'll be right back, actually. I'm going to go refill my drink, and then we'll keep going from there.
And we're back. Okay, let's see. Where were we? That's right. They were talking about what's going on with that. Yamato's like, fuck it. I'm going to kill them all. Kill them all. Let God sort them out. I'm wondering what's going to end up happening to her with all of her, like, with all her nosiness. Like, is she going to actually have any idea of what's going on here? Or is she just going to be continuously oblivious and nosy like this? I'm kind of wondering now. Ooh, new side missions. We're back to playing as Yamato. He is in pain. Oh, a shiny. Oh, we got enough for a side story. We got enough for a side story. Oh, what do you want? I have lose weight. I can't see the problem that fits me. Sorry, what do you need? Give most idols a run for... Ah, you're looking for Jun. So you want me to go find Jun for me? Okay. I mean, I could do that. I could do that. Also, let's talk to the cats. That's important. Always important to talk to the cats. See what the new meow. meow. See what the new meows are. Because I remember there's the one that we ran into that Slep mentioned was probably Corone. Matterite Flank. Go this way. Don't need to deal with any of you assholes. It's nighttime, so I don't think I'm actually going to be able to find this. Or I just realized that. Let's see. Change time. Ah, we can't do that right now. Okay, so we have to head back home first. We go this way. Towards the building. We go up the stairs. Yamato's room. I do like that little chair he's got. I do, I do legitimately like that little chair he's got. Oh no, he's starting to go a little crazy. He's starting to go a little crazy. <laughs> he's starting to go a little crazy. This might actually end badly for him. He's starting to have a bit of a moment. Nanika, <laughs> Oh, he's got his arm in a sling, too. Oh, yeah, no. What happened? Yeah, she was being nosy last night. She has no idea what the hell's going on, so... Where, where are we, then? Like, because, I, like I said, Yamato's kind of having his little mental breakdown right now. Where is he going with that? Where is he going with that? I'm kind of curious now. Ah, he's still in his apartment. Okay, never mind. He's still at his place. Think about it this way, Yamato. Even if you don't fully believe her. Even if you don't fully believe her. She, she might be able to get you an angle. Because like I said, it's completely understandable. It's, well, his, his view of this is completely understandable. Completely understandable. But if she can get you closer to the director queen, then even if your opinion of her doesn't change, she could be useful. Hmm. <laughs> Oh no, is he gonna have a flashback? Oh, he's crying. Yamato. Yeah, no, that that is that is I mean, considering everything that's happened there, it's understandable. It's entirely understandable that he's having a bit of a moment right now. I'm honestly surprised. Think about it right now. Especially like right after they put him in the trauma machine. In the machine that actually brought back when they brought back his memories. I'm surprised he didn't actually we didn't actually see him have like a full on ugly cry breakdown because we got a bit of that with jun and like he did have a bit of a moment but it seemed like he got over it pretty quickly <laughs> i 
She was being nosy last night, Yamano. あ、そうじゃ、ベリカ、ワッタファックスゴーンオンウィズヘアヘア。ライク、ワッタファック、ワッタファックイズゴーンオンウィズヘアヘア。アイトゥーザッタッツ。アイトゥーザッツ。アイ
naive ideal that you can just sweep it all under the carpet, you're not going to make any progress. And that is why I say the down payment, the minimum cost of entry, the bare, bare minimum that will have to be paid in the end will be your mother's head on a platter. And that on its own won't be enough. That's just the down payment. That's just the cost of entry. There will be more that you have to, there will be more that has to be paid after that. And it's going to be painful. And it, it will be, even if you can end this war, even if you can end this war, end the active conflict, it will be years, if not decades of hate there will be years if not decades of bitter hatred even once that conflict is no longer actively being fought awesome. and i think that's what he's trying to get you to understand arsham I, that's a strange comparison to make, Sarzan. That's a very strange comparison to make. <laughs> I wouldn't say that one, Sarzan. I wouldn't say that one. She might be very determined, but she is also incredibly naive. And that is going to hurt her. That is absolutely going to hurt her. And it's going to be very interesting to see how she comes back from that. How does she recover from the pain of that naivete running face first into the brutal reality of the situation? Because she's had some brushes with it. She's had some brushes with it. But it has not collided face first, full, like, you know, directly face first. How will she survive that crisis of faith? I really want to see that. Yeah. Of course not. Of course not, Sarzant. She's the one who ordered the genocide. She is the one who continues to actively prosecute it and insists that it must be seen through to its end because she knows, she knows that any attempt, that if it ends, if it ends without every single human life being extinguished, she will eventually be the one that has to pay for it. She will be the one that has to eventually has to pay possibly, maybe not quite the steepest price overall, but her life is the down payment. Her life is the down payment. Oh shit, she's going there! She's going there! <laughs> I said she's gonna have to put her mother's head on a platter, but it see and it seems like she is ready to go. I swear to God, the fucking, the fucking horn things on this just they remind me of a they remind me of Joru every time I see them because they're like the little sea slug stalks, and the pattern on them really leans into that. I don't think I don't think she wants to brought back, at least not alive. What? Yup. Yup. Bitch. <laughs> Bitch knows! 
No, no, she wants to kill the princess. She wants the princess to die in the rubble. I don't think you understand. God, she's this is abs. This is exact. This is fucking like some this is the fucking invincible moment where Omni Man's like, I'll just start over again, have another child. <laughs> I can keep going on and on and on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, she's committed. She is committed. Oh, no, is she gonna kill him? Is she gonna kill him? Oh no, this is gonna cost him his life, isn't it? This moment of doubt is going to cost him his life. I can already tell here. You get, like, you get to see this moment of doubt. They're all looking at her. They're all looking at her and just thinking, she's gone mad. She's she's crossing she is absolutely crossing the Rubicon. And there's no way that it's like that, no. There's no way. No way this ends well for anyone. Oh hey, it's Arzan. It's Sarzan. He usually looks kinda good in this shot. It just looks good to that outfit. You, and a lot of it's because you can't see his legs. You can't see his legs because his legs are the thing that really kind of screw with his design. Because he's like huge dude. And he's got tiny little legs. グリフォースメとコロサーザンとは姫の忠実なる内とにございますどのようなことが起ころうとこの命に変えて姫を守りいたしますそうか仕方あるまい Oh no, he's gonna get stabbed in the back! He's gonna get stabbed in the back! それは何だスキュラメタルを使用した新型攻撃銃を投入いたしますうーんテラシにはあれに傷一つつけられるであろうだ what is this that they're doing? I want to see her face. I want to see her face when this when this backfires. And when the fucking city lifts off from the ground. I want to see her reaction when the city lifts off from the ground. Yep. Sidestepping bullshit. Sidestepping bullshit. No, there's no way in hell she did. <laughs> oh no. Never mind. Maybe she did buy it. Maybe she did buy it. Huh. If that worked, then... Oh, hey, it's these two! Jun, you've only been on one real combat story. Don't talk like you're up it. Don't, don't, don't start being uppity. Do not start being uppity, Jun. You have only been on one. Count one sortie. It is going to be interesting to see who gets assigned to what systems in the Maximus, though. I really want to see who's going to get assigned to what systems in the Maximus because I know how the Musashi is set up, where you've got you've got the pi you've got the most you've got the pilots. You've got the flight, basically, for lack of a better term, you've got pilot, radar operator, flight engineer. 
somebody's actually like in control of the robot in terms of like how it's moving in a fight. You've got somebody who's in control of power systems and power and engine, basically flight engineer. You know, they handle power, they handle weapon systems, they handle all, you know, weapon systems in terms of logistics and all that kind of stuff. And then you've got the sensor operator, who's the guy that's feeding information to the pilot, make sure that he actually doesn't, he's not overwhelmed by incoming data streams. It's gonna be really, really interesting to see how these three get, how these two get assigned to the Maximus. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! The sparks are flying! The girls are fighting! <coughs> the girls are fighting! Oh, damn. Ugh. There's like spicy smoke in here for something. I'm coughing a lot. Ugh. <laughs> oh, they're gonna... I, I would love to actually see a scene where these... And maybe they do it in the anime. A scene where these two, where they actually fight. Like, they actually come to blows. And that is how they finally learn to respect each other. Would actually be great. <laughs> neither of them knows what the hell to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is, Ryugo. Ryugo, <laughs> あれ、あいつらの喧嘩に興味ねえし、俺用事あるんだわ。そんな。いや、ノ。ノ。あ、いや、俺プレイヤーズリーユーゴーナウ。母ちゃん、最近。ナウプレイヤーズリーユーゴ
the government knows where you're whacking it. The government knows when you feel alone and you're sitting at eight and you're sitting at home and it's the time to fill the sky full of drones to check on you and your bone. Skies don't matter the CIA. They can see your dick from outer space. The government knows. So yeah, Oblivion Bay you quite the Yep. Time to go to Oblivion Bay. We're back to playing this Yamato. Ooh, 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 I saw a shiny. I knew I was I knew I was something there. Is there anything else in here real quickly? Let me make sure. No, there is not. Get them shoes on, Yamato. Let's go outside. <laughs> Wrong button. I need to go here. Oblivion Bay. To the underground dock. And I think this is where we're gonna see this where you get the moment. Of um, yo, there he is! Land I. うまくいきそう。はい。いくしあの any sooner and make it so captain captain jean-luc picard of the uss enterprise captain jean-luc picard of the uss enterprise make it so make make it so make it so <laughs> and now yep yep now we get to see the two of them the pilot suits and be like who the fuck no i have to this is, this is, I remember this moment. I remember this moment. It's great. Act driver? The, what? Moving Musashi and Maximus with one person? Oh, shit. Doable for Musashi. Then the strength of the pilot. The... However, mess the team with two to maximize mobility. Yep. Mm hmm. I have a feeling they say it's going to have to be the right pilot. Why do I have a distinct feeling that the right pilot in this case is not going to be Yamato, if for no other reason than because he is under a lot of strain right now? Oh? Oh? That means it's from your father. It's in, it's a secret from your father. Something he left for you and only you to find out. Oh? Yep. Things are heating up here. Huh? Yep. Let's go see. I know who this is going to be. I can already tell who this is going to be. This is going to be... Oh, one of these things. What's this one going to have? Tonki saw that. Oh, it's a little side story. I love the little robot dog. He's so cute. He's so cute. Starfield? Starfield? Mm. I wonder if we're going to recognize any of these members of Starfield. そういうもんなのかい。俺も聞いたことあるけど、ちょっと激しい。Do we get? Do are is one of them going to end up being Jun? 
That's kind of what I'm wondering. I was like, is one of them going to end up being Jun? That's what I'm wondering. I don't think so because she's kind of she's not really associated with anything, so she's not like huge. But I would be interesting to know. It would be very interesting to know. Dogbot. Look at he. Look at he. Oh no, is Hoshino one of them? Is Hoshino a member of Starfield? Is that what this is going to turn into? Hmm. And now the dog is going to follow and find out. Go, Tonky, go. What is... Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I was right. I was right. Let's see what these three look like. Let's see what these three look like. So Hoshino is indeed one of them. Hover dog. Well, that's going to be awkward now. Blue. Blue. And let's just go back. Let's just go back real quickly. Rewind that back. Her name is Aoi. Aoi. And she is blue. Hmm, not very subtle there, are we? Ah, today's <laughs> Oh, that actually would be kind of cute to see if she does that. Mm. Is she going to be They don't know. <laughs> but you do. Yes, he knows. The robot dog knows. Simulation room. Have I never been actually in over here? Have I never actually been in this room? Hmm. Pots. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the girls are fighting. <laughs> oh. 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 You are one to talk, Jun. You are one to talk. Oh, that's awesome. I wish y'all could see the expression I've got on my face right now. Just looking at these two. Looking at these two, just having the most petty argument. While the three people with actual significant combat experience are like, what the hell are they doing? <laughs> Gita in particular. Gita in particular is probably just like, mm -hmm. like having a moment right now. You can just tell Gita is absolutely having a moment right now. Yo, there's the alarm. <laughs> Yep. No time to rest, Momoka. No time to rest. You're gonna have to get in there and get in that fight. Oh boy, here we go. Yep. Oh no. 
そもそもマキシマスはイブシ隊長と私で動かす今回もその組み合わせで残念だけどイブシ隊長の今の体じゃ出撃できない<笑>なんでなんかやばい<笑>ああ実はあ<笑>これじゃメガトン Q の圧には耐えきれん。すまん。そういうわけで、ここはお前ら二人で乗ってくれ。えー、そう言われても、こいつとなんて絶対に嫌です。Oh man, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. Let's see actually how these two. I want to see how these two actually do when they're together in the cockpit. If it's gonna turn into just them constantly. How it's gonna turn into just constantly arguing. Oh, he's got a point. Duke's got a point. Duke has absolutely got a point. No, no, they're not. They are absolutely not. No, they, they, they are, they're gonna fuck her up. They're gonna fuck her out and find out. I'm calling it right now. <laughs> yep, like you said, I was bullshitting. He's not wrong, they did. They absolutely did buy it. <laughs> God, I love this game. I love this game so much. It's actually just been so much. First of all, the gameplay is great. The gameplay is great. I love the character design as well. Level 5 absolutely hit it out of the park with character design. Then again, level 5 does great character design in general. I have been. Even when I don't like their character designs. I, I do like, even when I don't necessarily like the character design, like level five character designs, there is a very interesting, like, cohesive idea between them all that you can really see shining through. Uh -huh. like, this, and then, Inaz in, and then Inazuma 11 in particular, you can also really see it, and it's great. It never ends. It never ends, Yamato. Emergency! A counter beacon has been issued. You can now take on treasure missions. Wait, 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 wait. There was a shiny there. Give me that. Okay, let's see what we got here. What do we got here? A new treasure mission has been added. Ooh, what do we got here? Developmental resources, small tractor squadron. Yes. Fountain of Fortune. Let's see if we get anything good out of this. That's gonna be the real thing. Are we gonna get anything good out of this? Or am I just gonna be sitting here like disappointed that I wasted an encounter beacon? I don't actually remember how many of those we get. I legitimately don't remember how many of those we get. And that's gonna make this interesting. Hello! Yeah, die. Switch to Steel Piercer. One shot! <laughs> Just dashing and shooting like that. Wow, that was fast. That was very fast. Let's see, listen, let's see if we get anything good out of that. That's going to be the real question. Do we get anything good out of that? Also, thank you again, Mechanic Cat. New record. But yeah, no, I fucking love this game. 
I fucking love this game. It's just, it is so much fun. It is incredibly fun. The character designs are great. Epic. Ooh, we got some materials out of that. Treasure key five or V. I don't know if it's five or V. Treasure containers. I don't think we've got any of those. I don't think, I don't know if we have any treasure containers. We've got the keys though. We should actually like to see if we have any of those containers. I thought I'm thinking about it. Let's go back here real quick. No, here. Inventory. Let's see. Inventory. There we go. Do we have any treasure containers? Because we've got plenty of metal. We've got plenty of metal. And we've got a decent amount of matterite. We've got not only decent, but we've gotten some matterite again. Let's see. Do we have anything else here? That's relevant to that. Megatonium ore, Frozen Core, Kurandi Core, Matter Police Core. That's upgrade stuff. Paint colors, Hollow Crystals, Old Memory, Tachyon Tank, Colossal Circuit. Nothing there, anyways. Yo, this music kind of fucks though. This music kind of fucks here. It's like the guitar coming in. Ooh, do you have anything actually? No, 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 no. I didn't want to talk to you. I wanted to talk to the shop. Yeah, we're going to talk to Chihiro. We'll see if she has anything relevant to me right now. Memory wide, HI. I don't have enough for it to matter. Machoism. I currently have seven of those. The Inazuma decals. Battler's decal. More decal stuff. Matterite ore. No, 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 no. Okay, nothing that I really need to worry about. All right. Let's go back here now. Yes. Offline mission. Treasure mission. Deploy. Okay, so I have 11 encounter beacons right now. That's what I needed to check. Is how many encounter beacons do I actually have? Now I'll have 10. And I don't remember, how do I get more of these? That's what I'm trying to remember is how do I get more of these? Cause I've got 11 of them and I don't remember how we're gonna get more because eventually we're gonna run out unless I figure that out. And that's gonna be awkward. Mission start. Where are they, where are they, where are they? Hello! Where are you? There you are. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Oh, you're a bit tougher. How many of them are alive? Okay, that's all of them. Wow. That is quick, actually. That is quick, just burning through them like that. But that is also an incredibly fun. I said, even if, even something like this where I'm just like burning through them, it still just feels great. It still just feels great. What I realize is, did I get anything else interesting out of this? Not really. No new parts. Another treasure key. The thing is, though, with the treasure keys, overall well and good, but I don't think I have any treasure containers. So. Kinda questionable. Let's see, God or Demon? X and then Black Beast. Oh, Mazinga Zetto! <laughs> Look at him. Like I said, they did a great job on the getter design. I noticed that one. Oh yeah, no, Mazinga looks Mazinga looks great too. I don't think it's quite as good as Getter, but it is still a great, it is a great translation of Mazinger into 
I'm not sure it's Mazinger or Mazinger, I always forget. But it's a great translation of the design into Megaton, I won't lie. It is a great translation of the Mazinger design, Mazinger design into... into Megaton. And it really does, again, I really do wonder, I really do wonder if like in the Japanese version of the game, if they have all of the original theme music or not, because that would be incredibly cool. It'd be like, it'd be like Super Robot Wars, where you have the, whenever the special, they have the theme music play, whenever they've got like the special attacks going. Crystal Fire! Don't get the punch! Oh yeah, that feels incredible. That feels fucking incredible. No, you don't. Goodbye. And let's see if we get a boss or not. Yep, there it is. Horn fusion type. I don't think I have enough TP to hit him with another beam, though. Fuck. <laughs> almost, though. Actually, almost enough. Burst of fire! Keep a train on him, keep a train on him. And then just... Okay, he's stunned, he's down. Bully the shit out of him. Sacrifice. <laughs> You're not getting away that easily. Megaton Fury, bye! Give me the parts. Give me the parts. Look at the food! Look at the pose! Look at the pose! It's so good! It's so good! New record. Mazinger Knuckle Attack! Yes. Epic. Steel Piercer. Okay, I'll take all that. Psycho Ride. And now we got the Mazinger parts. And then let's see. Offline mission. We've got those side missions that we can still do. But I don't think I still I still don't think I have quite enough parts for them. These AD ones up here. I can't quite do those yet. Keep that in mind. But I can do these. Okay. Deploy. Yeah, skip the deployment. We've seen this a bunch already. And let's get in there. Stick the landing and whoop their ass. Seriously, though, it is such a good looking set. The Mounter Police? It is such a good looking set. Especially since. We, especially. Do we have the baton? No, we don't have the baton. Shit. Like, if we had the baton, it'd be even better. Because then we could literally just be like, stop resisting! Which melee weapon do we have equipped right now? Uh, Iron Sword. Get in there! We are completely mismatched element-wise, but it's still working out. It's still working out, we're fine. Spin! Ah, that was a complete waste. We already cleared him out. Two for one! Let's see, there's five left that are gonna be on the other side of this can the other side of this rock here.
Watch the crabs. Watch the crabs. I do not like fighting the giant crab. There's not enough of them here for them to be able to do that, but I do not like fighting the giant crab. It is just such a pain in the ass with these weird hitboxes. Good. Let's see. Next grouping. Confirmed. That's that one done. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? We don't have any red slides. That's what I was wondering. Considering how many crabs are here, though, I have a feeling that's what we're going to run into when we actually get into the boss at the end of this stage. Ooh, Golden Gunner. Interesting. Spin! Oh, we got to get around the shield. I was wondering. I was hoping we could maybe, like, break their guard through that. Nah, wasn't going to work. Okay. Ooh, what's this over here? What's this over here? Nothing really? Okay. I don't think we got much of anything good so far in terms of drops. Let's see if that. Let's see if our luck improves. Oh, uh, excuse me. What do you mean that wasn't doing damage? Oh, that's why. Beam! Down you go. Where's the next one? Where's the next one? Where's the next one? Where's the next one? Do you have anything for me, by the way? Ooh. It's all blues and greens, though. Ugh. Come on. Yeah, give me something better. Give me something better. I know there's better drops around here. There's definitely going to be better drops around here. Come on. Stop holding out on me. Go through that building. Let's see. What do we got here? Next contact. Horns. They take priority. You are not going to build up your shield. I am sorry. I cannot allow that to happen. Oh, there's another one of you. Yeah, go, 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 go. All right, let's take care of him already. All right. Here we go. Next boss. What's this one going to be? Crow fusion type. Get in there, get in there. Whoa, okay. They got on Panchi. Yeah, get on the ground. You ain't gonna be flying anytime soon. You're gonna be flying no more. No. Get back down! <laughs> oh, there's a purple. Not a purple frame part, but it might still be good. Don't know what it's gonna end up being, but we gotta keep an eye on it and see what it, go what it leads to. Ooh. Oh, another purple that I would have missed! Another purple I would have missed! Let's see. Below specified rank. Let's set that to that. And then also include the blues. Okay. Yes, all of this metal is specified items. That gets me plenty of stuff. Epic. Burst blow. And let's see, dismantle mode. You, 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 you. All of these. There we go, yes. Turn to mission select. I think it's a little weird. I think it's a little weird that in this menu, you can recycle stuff that is below the desired level. But on the other one, it's above. 
like it just comes off as kind of odd and backwards like that should be consistent don't you you would think that should be consistent right hmm i don't know it just like, it, it seems odd ambush let's see here real quickly laboratory recycle no put stuff in Junk. Yeah, that'll do it. Let's see what we can get now. Mad Burster, Revolver Cannon, Hydro Bazooka. Ooh. Oh, we get an upgraded Pile Beatling too. Let's try that because I do want to see what this thing actually ends up being. I've been curious about this one for a little while now. Rank 25, Shot Beam. Not bad. What about here? Iron Blade, Heat War Axe, Knight's Bastard, Steel Crusher, Heavy Metal Mace, All Divider. You know what? You know what? I'm going to go for the All Divider just for the simple fact that it looks like the Dragon Slayer. Just for the simple fact that it looks like the Dragon Slayer. I mean, look at this thing. That is a Berserk reference. You cannot convince me otherwise. So let's put our grasses on. Let's put our grasses on. Absolutely nothing will be wrong. Absolutely nothing will be wrong. Is that everything? Oh, we still got body and leg parts to do. Okay. Oh, and an arm actually. Huh. Let's do a Brom Soldier, because I think I don't have a right arm for the Brom Soldier set. And I want to see what this is like. Ooh, body. Mount your soldier. Oh! Oh, that looks cool! Can I get that on the legs yet? No, no, I can't. Shit. Let's try Brom Soldier Legs. <laughs> Look at it! Look at it with the little helmet and all the shit coming out of it! This is such a cool part set! Don't know why you're afraid. Tell me why, tell me why, tell me what you say. I don't know why, don't know why. It's too late, it's too late. Have no fail for real, it's just a burning wheel. And if it's started, there's no other way to put your eyes on me. Stop why you lose. There's no pain, there's no gain. It's on to you. You miss something given. Ooh. Yes. Let's see what the Brahm soldier can do. Brown soldier left uh, right arm. Oh, we are going up now. Not Kaiser. Where are those Brom soldier legs at? Ah, oh, there they are. Yes. Oh, it looks kind of weird, actually. The colors are fucking with me. The colors are absolutely fucking with me. They're super mismatched. Let's see if we can do anything about that. Rogue. Rogue. 
Not from here, anyways. Oh! Oh! Oh, I see what this does now. Interesting. What about weapons? Where is that all divider that we just got? That's the first question. Yo, we've actually got a couple of them. Yes! That is blue... Destroy ice. Okay. Don't think anything we have here will be a huge upgrade. But I'm thinking we are going to go over to that Thor Breaker. Here, but not ice, because we already have the one ice weapon. Oh, wow, that's a huge downgrade, actually. I didn't even think about that one. Uh... Oh, there we go. There we go. That fixes it. Then let's see. What can we do here? Weapon-wise. You can have that. Along with... The Ice Thor Breaker. And the... The lightning all divider actually works out right there. Okay. This can be upgraded to... What is it currently? This can be changed over to that steel piercer. Then this can be upgraded to the pile gatling that I was using earlier. And then this can go to the pointer ray. There we go. That puts us in a great fucking spot. That puts us in a great fucking spot equipment wise. Two classes are the aristocratic upper class and the militaristic lower class, which is deployed to dangerous battlefields. The... Yeah, no, that's what I was saying before. They rendered the planet uninhabitable. And that's going to be a very steep price to pay. Yes, begin mission. Down we go. Let's see what's waiting for us on the other side. Mega Robo Fighter 2. God, I need to get I need to actually go through and actually think about it. At some point I'm gonna actually need to start thinking about painting this thing. Painting this thing because it's looking a bit weird with the mismatched colors. I really hate, and I really hate how painting is an item that you have to get. Oh, it's a burst machine gun! Oh, that's cool! Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be making more of these for sure. I like this thing. I like this thing already. All divider. I need to actually think about skills and shit too. I just realized I don't have anything in Arthur's other two skill slots. And that's also going to be a thing with Maximus too now I'm thinking about it. Let's see here. The all divide. Oh, I need to go this way. I need to go this way. I need to go this way. I already went the other way. Remember, we already cleared that zone out, so let's go to the next one. New enemy group inbound. Let's see what they got. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Item. Oh! Ah, oh, no, wait, everybody. That's not a gold one. I thought that was a gold one. I was going to be like, yo, I want that now. No, you don't get stun locked. You're not running away. You figure out what skills I actually want to run on Arthur as well. 
because I do really like Megaton Punch and X-Break, and I'm trying to think here. Also, once Maximus comes into the picture, that's going to make things even more complicated. Like, how am I going to allocate those skills? Ooh. Doink! <laughs> It does not even matter. Like, the elemental thing is nice when it does line up, but it doesn't even matter at this point because I'm so overstatted for it. Anything good here? No, okay. Let's see. That means here we're probably going to be getting, maybe not quite to the boss zone, but we're getting close. Considering the scale of the Megaton class rogues, I could absolutely believe that was like three kilometers too. These things are massive. Oh God, it's the crabs. Oh God, it's the crab. Well, this is gonna suck. Like, even when, even when it's not hard, I just don't like fighting this thing. Cause it's got such janky, weird hitboxes. That half the time it feels like you're whiffing. One seventy, two fifty four. Hell yeah. Now give me that loot. Give me that loot. You know, I know you've got good shit on you. I'll go to hell. Go to hell. Not even a single purple. Not even one. Ugh. I do have it set that way, okay. Yes. Thank you. Epic. Master key piece. Apart from that, nothing really. Okay. Yes. Return to mission select. And then let's see. No, 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 no. We need to go story mission now. Black Beast. Maximus cannot be customized for this mission. Strength increases with player rank. Interesting. Let's go laboratory. Recycle. And then let's see. Let's do... Well... Yeah, that. Junk weapon. Ooh, we actually got enough junk to. Yeah, that's nice. Then you. Then you. We actually need to think about which ones are close. That's the ones we're gonna spend the freeform junk on. Like the left arm and the melee weapon. Well, the melee weapon we've actually got one that we can do here let's see what's interesting that we could do here maybe the burst blows or the control baton because i do like the control baton a lot i don't have any lances deal crusher heavy metal mace let's do a burst blow and then let's see if that also levels up. Yeah, I've been doing all right, partner. Dude, I've actually been pretty great. It's not enough to level it up, though. That makes it... That gives me another part there. Ooh, we're starting to get into the Mounter Soldier set, though. Ooh, I like the look of this set already, too. I was saying, I like the look of this set. Mantle. Let's see here. OK. 
So let's just do all. Yes, dismantle. And that gives me a few more parts to work with. That's why I wasn't seeing them. Okay. Hmm. Nothing else really here that we can get rid of. Unless we... Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. While working remote, I found a YouTube channel streaming OG Kamen Rider in a loop. Early Showa, Kamen Rider Ichigo is a very interesting beast. The little I've seen of it. Yes. I want to see what all that gets me. Oh, that gets me a lot of shit. Oh, that gets me a lot of shit. Let's go back to the recycling now. Start putting these parts in, see what we can get. Not enough to actually make anything yet. But we're getting somewhere now. Yeah, no, like I said, Kamen Rider Ichigo. First of all, though, it is just, it is such a long ass series, though. So it does take some dedication to actually, like, just go through and watch it. Oh, we've almost got enough for a melee weapon now. And we've got enough for a gun now. This one's already got a rank up requirement met. But let's see here. This one is close. This one, these are all also pretty close. Let's get a Hydro Bazooka, actually. Let's get a Hydro Bazooka. That is actually a fair point now that you mentioned it, that there isn't, isn't like super continuous. It's more episodic at that point, so that does definitely help. Ooh, color repaint. This is color repaint. This is what I wanted to look at. What do I have for options? I don't have a lot of these, actually. Shit. That kind of looks like a Gundam. This is like, we have Gundam at home. <laughs> Black Beast. Shinjin no Kirishima Jun to Saotome Momoka wa futari de makishimasu o soju suru rashi. Aitsura de daijoubu na no ka? Yeah, no, that's kind of what I'm thinking too, Yamato. They are busy fighting. They really don't like each other. They're so busy fighting that it's going to be interesting to see if they can actually work as a cohesive unit. Ja, mise te yaru to suru ka? Lead by example and all that. We'll show them all that fighting we had done ain't so far ain't for show. Yeah, we won't let a single one standing. God. For some reason, for some reason, what's his name? The the guy who actually does the sensor operation for Musashi. He reminds me of Brain from Common Rider Drive. Now you mentioned Common Rider partner. He reminds me of Brain in particular. Like, I can absolutely see if they were to do like a live action version of, they were to do like a live action version of this, that something that the guy would actually, absolutely, the actor would absolutely look like the actor who played Brain in Drive. That or alternatively, the other thing that comes to mind is 
even though he is a villain in it as well, it's also, another one, it's also, he's also a villain, is the guy who played Towser. God, I can't remember his actual name. I mostly, I mostly remember him as Towser in Zero One. That's another look I could see for him. Especially early on. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> Seriously, she's so smug. She's so smug. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I don't remember. I don't remember which Common Rider series it's from, partner, but it's from one of the early Showa series. Have, but I'm just gonna let you know. Get ready for Starfish Hitler. Starfish Hitler. If you're not ready for Starfish Hitler, will put you on your ass. Just you're gonna be laughing so goddamn hard. I don't remember which series Starfish Hitler is from though. I don't think it's Ichigo. I wanna say it's V3 or X. If you're gonna watch more early Showa Rider. But one of them has literally got, honest to God, Starfish Hitler. Uh, yeah, and it's not just uh, it, it's not just the name. He straight up has the Hitler mustache and a swastika on his chest They also have another moment. I think it might even be the same episode Where a, a couple of the villains are like we found Hitler's treasure and it's common It's actually just a trap that common writer set where he's inside the coffin this is an actual honest to God thing that happens in one of the early Showa Rider series. It is X. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Is it, is it X or is it? Or which I didn't remember which one it was, but it's X. Okay. One of my favorite, one of my favorite '90s. So, Kamen Rider kind of took a hiatus in the '90s because of two things. There are two reasons why Kamen Rider kind of had a bit of a hiatus in the '90s. One was the death of Shutaro Ichinose. I think that was... No, 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 no. What the fuck is his name? Fucking the guy behind Common Rider. Ichinomori. Not Ichinose, Ichinomori. One was the death of... One was the death of... Sh one was the death of Ichinomori, but the other... That was part of it. That was like a, That was the bigger part. The thing, the other thing was, they had a bunch of movies coming out in the 90s that were attempts to start a new series in the 90s, but none of them were ever successful enough to actually warrant becoming a series. There are two, in, there's two in particular from that era I really like, that I think you should watch as well, the of the 90s Kamen Rider movies. And those are Kamen Rider J and Kamen Rider Z-O, not Z-O the series, Zo the series is um, just ask Caleb about it. He'll tell you. But Zo as in the letter Zo. I do like both of those movies. I like J a little bit better because Keda Amamiya does absolute fucking Kino. Like, honest to God. Honest to God. Common Rider J. Common Rider J. Keda Amamiya did an amazing job on the direction of that. It looks really good. But... I have a, I have a bad with it, but yeah, Ishinomori. But yeah, Ishinomori dying, and then the movies flopping means that there's like a big gap in Kamen Rider series after Black RX until... 
Kuga. Until Kuga. And there's a couple of but there's a couple of movies in that gap that I think are definitely worth checking out. Build? Build is fun. I haven't actually watched a lot of Build, but of what I've seen of Build, I really like. I do really like. I need to actually like I just know if I can go back and actually like fully watch Build. I need to finish Drive still, because I've been kind of like slacking off on that. I love Drive. Highly recommend Common Rider Drive as well. But yeah, Build is another one that's uh, what I've seen of it's been really good. Highly recommend Drive. Ryuki, I like Ryuki. I, I, again, it's one I've only seen partway through, but I really do like Ryuki. I love the secondary. I don't remember. If, I don't know if I like the show or not because I haven't seen it yet. I love the secondary writer design on Agito. Kamen Rider Agito, the secondary writer design for G3. Mwah, so good. It's such a good design. The other one that I really want to watch at some point is... The other Heisei series I really want to watch at some point is... I, I, I can't remember which one it was. I need to go back and watch more of Deno, even though... I am kind of not optimistic of what's not looking forward to what's going to happen later on in the series that slept kind of spoiled me on, but I do need to go back and finish it. I really liked Zero One. Zero One was my introduction to Kamen Rider, and it was a fantastic introduction. If you're looking for like a very recent, of, of like the very recent Kamen Rider series, Absolutely watch Zero One. It is excellent. It is unambiguously fantastic. And I think you will really enjoy it if you watch Zero One. Also, the opening is a fucking banger. Zero One's opening is a fucking banger. Zero One, 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 what are you talking about formation? We're not in any sort of formation at all, bro. I'm just running through and grabbing shit. Oh, chest, 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 chest. Get it, get it. It's only a blue, but I don't care. Good, that's everything. Good. Let's see. Oh, we can't switch over to the Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. What's our weapon system right now? Soldier Sword Bull Burster. Okay. And yeah, no, Bill, the other thing I love about Bill is its opening. Be the one by Pandora is an incredibly good opening. Be the one, be the one. Da na 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 na. Like be the one by Pandora is a great opening. Where's it? Where's the box? Where's the box? Where's the box? Got the box, good. It's only blue. Oh, but we did get a purple out of it, okay. Keep moving, let's see. If we run into anything else that's gonna be more valuable. Oh? More? More special moves. Interesting. Keep moving. We got a boss we can already try it on, too. Boss coming up right away that we can try it on. Hell yeah. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh god, it's gonna be crabs, isn't it? 
It's gonna be crabs. I can already tell from here. Ernest J. Krabs is coming to ruin the party. Oh? Wait, 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 wait. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, this is entirely new. Never mind. What the hell is that? Oh, he looked cool. I want to pet him. We're actually doing damage to it though, which is kind of surprising to me. We're actually doing damage to it. It's only chip damage, and it's obviously being limited by plot armor, but it's somehow working! Oh, yo! They've hijacked it! Oh, no, 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 never mind. They're connected to us, not them. I thought they were gonna hijack the enemy unit. That would have been funny. <laughs> Unidentified aircraft. Black beast. Oh no, she's having a moment. She's having a moment. She's obviously delusional. Send her to the infirmary. Oh no, what's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? Oh, I could use that as a ref. I just realized I could absolutely use that as a ref. It looks cool as hell. Oh no, the beam! Aim for the joints! Oh no, what do we got? What do we got here? What do we got here? What are they doing? No, oh, no, he's on fire! Put it out, put it out, put it out, put it out, put it out! Oh, yep, he's having a breakdown. He's having a breakdown. Oh, oh no. Oh no, here comes the trauma. Oh, did he not have his memories restored? Did he not have his memories restored? Like, oh no. Oh no, and now they're coming out. And now they're coming out under stress. Oh! Oh, the robot dog! あなたにメッセージを送るために and what is that? Look, seriously, look at this thing! Look at this thing! It's like some Zoid shit! I fucking love it! I fucking love it! 
Well then start talking. Start talking. Start talking. Yeah, what about it? Okay, so how do we deal with that? How do we deal with that, Arsham? あなたが、あなたが、あなたが、あなたが、あなたが、あなたが、あなたが、あなたが、あなたが、あなたが、あなたが、あなたが、あなたが、あなたが、あなたが、あなたが、あなたが、あなたが、あなたが、あなたが、
<laughs> yes! I was right! <laughs> it's gonna be Android time! It's gonna be the time for the Android to shine! Yup! I mean, he can fly a city! I think he can time three rogues! I think he can time three rogues! He can fly a city! Ready? Go back, bro. Yeah. I want to get this set up though. I do want to get this set up because I feel like. Start the sequence, Kana! I've got a song layered into it too! <laughs> into a pack. There's no choice but take orders to attack. Locked up in chains. I get fed. But the hunger still remains. Content to live this way. Being led by the blind Got to plan my dispersal Time to leave them all behind Breaking out of my pain Nothing found and nothing gained I'm my own master now Bear the mark of my scars Shedding blood underneath the stars, but I will survive somehow. Ah, they're recovering the corpse so we can't steal it. Shoot that thing down! I love the fact that I was actually able to tie that to I'm my own master now as well. Like, it made it a little bit off. But it was pretty good timing on that. <laughs> like right as it goes for the final blow, time to leave them all behind. Well, I mean, he didn't figure it out. We had some help. We had some help. Yep. Yep. That does make things a bit complicated. He is absolutely right about that. Let's see. If we got anything good out of that. That's going to be the real interesting thing. Yes. Auto dismantle the specified items. Done. Epic. Brown soldier body. Mm, let's see here. I don't know if what we got here is really as good as anything we've got. Except for that revolver cannon. So, dismantle mode. This can stay. Those can stay. Dismantle. There we go. There we go. Takes care of that. Let's see. Taking on the Kyo Kunakitayo Kakshimote Tanantene. Konko and Nanto Kanataka Imono. Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to need more of that insider information. As much as you may not like it, Yamado. We're gonna need more of that information. Like I said, you don't have to like her, but at the very least, you can make use of her. Uh. 
We've got three already. Is it we're gonna have five now? Third row to the squad. Hmm. Yeah, no. He's having a bit of an internal conflict. But I mean, so is she. So they are almost a perfect match for each other in that regard. Perfect match for each other in that regard, having that internal conflict. Well, let's find out. He's still thinking about it. He's still thinking about it. Develop mod for the laboratory. Let's see here. On that note. On that note. Let's see. Can we get there from here? Or is that something we just do in the menus? Probably is better something we just do in the menus. Okay. Store, customization, go to customization. Group presets, laboratory. Recycle. Got another rank up on the melee weapon box. Very nice. Left arm, gun, weapon. Let's see if there's anything interesting we can get here. Iron sword, heat war axe, soul blader. Oh, that looks kind of nice, actually. I like the look of that. I really like the look of that. Soldier sword, double blade, iron blade, sword breaker, ignis dagger. Halberd. I do like the look of that. Not quite as much as All Divider. All Divider is still my favorite of the Great Swords, but this still does. This does look really cool. If you're a Halberd, does look really cool. Bolt knuckle. Okay, nothing really there I want to do right now, so we'll hold off on that. Ah, it's still not quite enough. Shit. Dismantle. Oh, that got us like fuck all. <laughs> that got us sweet fuck all. Let's think here. Auto select filters. I don't believe anything below the rank of. Oh, we do. that get me nothing really mm. these are all currently equipped on something is the other problem oh but that does get us stuff not a ton but maybe enough that we can actually start using it in the recycle bin. There we go. is like a slog right now it's kind of a slog right now because we don't have that huge surplus of junk parts anymore let's see here 
Let's go for the Mounter Soldier. But I really like the look of this set, and I want to start like building up for it. <laughs> Melee weapons. Let's see. So close on some of these. Let's see. Mounter Soldier, do we not? Uh, we do not have a full Mounter Soldier set yet, so. We've got a left arm, a body, and legs. We don't have a right arm. So, not much point in using that yet. Not Maximus. Can we do anything valuable, useful here? Not quite yet. We can start looking into weapons for it, though. And those will be a huge boost to its combat capabilities. And the Hydro Bazooka. That gets us to 120k. We can start putting the Mount of Soldier parts we have. Which just leaves the right arm. Once we can get that right arm for this, then we'll be set. And it does look really good. It legitimately looks really good. I love this set. See, we gotta go back to Takedai Park. First, I want to see if there's any side missions we can do real quickly to get more parts. Because we're definitely starting to run short on them because I've been doing a lot of dismantling. Yep, deadly drills. And then we've also got. Let's see, 194, 165. Sounds like we're gonna have to deal with another one of these dark hunters, which is gonna be interesting now, since we're not in a cinematic setting for that. Let's see. So let's see what happens when we actually get into a fight now. Is it going to be? Is it going to be pain? Or are we actually gonna be able to fight this thing? God, the Mounter Soldier set looks so good. Like, legitimately, it looks so good. Get through there. Clear them out. Oh, we got perks already. Nice. Clear those out. I do need better melee weapons for first blow. Okay, I've got one actually. Keep moving, keep moving. Oh, the purple one! What do we got next? 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 Oh, that's a big boy! Misaidu! Coliseum! Oh, Edward Fury now, let's go! Who's left? Who's left? Who's left? Never mind, they got them all already. Oh. Charge through. Charge through the blast and finish them off. Kill them all! <laughs> 
And now, now it's boss time. Let's see if it's going to be one of those dark hunters again. Let's see how we actually fight this thing this time. God, it looks so cool. It looks so cool. Dark Hunter. <laughs> wow. Wow, this one just goes down. This one we can just fight it. It's not even doing like the, the special boss gimmick like last time. Okay. I'm not entirely complaining, but okay. I thought it would have been neat if there was actually a sequence we had to do to actually fight this thing in unison. That would have been, oh, it dropped a gold. It dropped a gold. Now that, that I want to see if that's anything good. Ready up. New record. See. Yes, all those magical specified items. Thank you. Legendary. Oh, it's a bomb soldier right arm. Oh, these are actually some good parts. The weapons, not so much. They're a bit shit. But the frame parts, no. Let's go into this mantle mode now, real quickly. And let's start breaking down some of the shit that I don't really care about. You, 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 and you, 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 you. Yes. Yeah. Close results, and let's see where that puts me now. Return to mission select. Where does that put me parts wide? I can do that from here. Why am I going out of that? I don't need to do that. That was deadly drills. Let's see. Rude hanger. Recommended 171. Let's see if I can get anybody higher up so that they're actually, we can have at least two rogues that are over the recommended level. That'd be really nice. I need to add more shit to this one, actually. I'm thinking about it now. I am... So I just fought the first Dark Hunter slept. I just fought the first Dark Hunter. And immediately, when we got to the cutscene, when we got to the cutscene, where they do, like, the unison attack against it, I had to play I'm My Own Master now for that bit. Literally, it's just... Because it and it synced up actually pretty well. We're just like, time to leave them all behind. Breaking out of my pain. Nothing venture, nothing gain. I'm my own master now. I, mean, I, was, actually, I was fucking dying when I saw that thing. It looks cool as hell too. It's like the thing I saw this thing, I was like, holy shit, it's Blade Wolf. It was basically my reaction when I saw that thing. I was like, oh shit, it's Blade Wolf. junk that can be allocated. No. Okay. Now we 
we go dismantle. Is there anything here that we want to look at start dismantling? I don't think so. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hmm. Not you, necessarily, no. Third hanger. We got some new parts. I want to see if any of them are anything. No. Oh! Oh, that's a disappointment, actually. That's really disappointing. Like, all that shit that we got, none of it is actually really worth doing anything with. Once we get out of the equipped area... Not you, not you, not you. That should be everything that we actually want to get rid of, yeah. So yeah, Slip, I just actually, I just beat the actual, the, the first Dark Hunter, where they have to do the three, the three unison attack, which is actually really cool. It's a really cool moment. I, I legitimately really like that moment. Here, recycle. Wow, it's like I've got like nothing now. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I can't get any, I can't get the right arm for this yet, so I don't have the full set bonus, which is annoying the shit out of me, I might add. The fact that I still don't have, I, I don't have enough recycle parts to get the full set bonus for Mounter Soldier on the third, on the third, me, on the third rogue is annoying the shit out of me. I am basically gonna let Yamato carry the other two groups. Yamato carry everybody else through this right now. That's what this is gonna turn into. You are being carried. Please do not resist. That's exactly kind of the vibe I get from that, too. It's just not really much of a point. Is the other thing. It's like... You're so reliant on getting the set bonuses. Oh, where is it? 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 Oh, the blue one. Okay. Get back here! You're not running away! What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I also seriously still need to think about. I need to think about sets, about skills and shit, because I haven't put anything on Arthur. I need to actually do that at some point. The skills for um, Maximus are really good, by the way. The missiles in particular are so good at dealing with big blobs. Charge into the blast zone! Where is it? 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 What color is it? Ah, it's a regular one. 
Ah, the bitch one. What's left? What's left? What's left? What's left? Force level two. Now let's see him rush. God. You are, but you're going to die. Oh, you're black. Which tells me you're probably made of silver metal. Which means I'll probably run into one of you later on in the game. That's actually going to be a plot point. Six left. Oh, how many? What's this last thing gonna be? That's gonna be the interesting part. What are they gonna throw at us? Stop confusion type. Oh, you're not made of Scylla metal. Boop, down you go. On the floor. One minute you're on top, the next you're not. Watch it drop, making your heart stop. Just before you hit the floor, one minute you're on top. Next you're not. Watch it stop. Mr. Shaw, making your heart stop. You think you've won, and then it's all gone. Oh, it's a boss rush! Here we go! Think about putting skill on Arthur in particular. Bye bye, Wheelie Boy. Now, where's the last one? Show yourself already. We got six and a half minutes to go. Mad Walker S. Oh, that all. Oh, that also looks cool. Sacrifice. Get in there. Done. <laughs> oh, that feels really good. Oh, he got the purple. I'll take that from you. Oh, is this an aircraft carrier? Oh, this was an aircraft carrier. I was loving. I was loving having like those moments of like recognition of what something used to be. It really does kind of sell. It really does kind of sell just how much the directors fucked things up. Epic. Mounting the Z body. Ooh, a new knight's bastard. A new soldier sword. Very nice. And getter parts. Ooh, yeah, no. This is really nice. A master key, which is kind of weird. Kind of weird. I have not actually. I don't think I have any treasure containers yet. Is the thing. Yeah, Epic Mazinga is really good. Epic Mazinga is really good, yeah. <laughs> I love how they always have to have these cute little acronyms like that. It's like, we all know what it actually is, dude. 
Oh, we're gonna have to be in the 200,000s for these. But we can do these. Interesting. Let's see. I mean, yeah, no, we're, we're, we're set up for this already. Actually, while we're here, customization, we got new weapons. And let's put some of those onto Maximus so that it's better set up. Actually, let's put the soldier sword on there. This we're going to swap out for... No, we're going to keep that, actually. That's fine. Ooh, we can put the getter tomahawk on it as well, though. That'd be nice. This can go, though. This can definitely go. Let's put the pointer ray on it. Don't have anything that can work there. Let's go to the laboratory. We don't have enough parts for recycling yet. I'm almost certain. I want to see how many I do have. Oh! Oh! I can allocate them! Even if they're not. That's actually very useful knowledge. Yeah, no, I've been using a bunch of it, Slep. I've been using a bunch of recycle, actually. Ooh, yep, Matter Soldiers, and now we've got the full Matter Soldier set. Very nice. So we'll swap you over to Mounted Soldier. And that is a huge boost already to our, to our shit there. Let's see, Arthur, SAI Link, Rogue Hanger. We need to set skills for you actually. Just realize that special special moves for you. But I forget where we do that. That's the thing I'm trying to remember is where do we actually apply special moves? Because you really do need some. Is it here? Maybe it's in the motherboard. Just thought about that. It's not here. Maybe it's under pilots? No, it's not there. I'm trying to think, where do I apply special moves? Where do I set special moves? That's the thing I'm trying to remember right now. I know we've got a couple options. Oh, it's in the lab. Okay. Oh, is it not something I can do yet? Look, let me go look because I'm actually curious now. Oh, 
they are. I found them. It's in the motherboard. So now, now Arthur's actually got some special moves to work with. I figured out where you did it. Oh man, this game is, this game is just great though. Ten minutes. Eighteen enemies. Well, the magazine size on this is tiny. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Just clean them out. What's that last one gonna be? What's this last one gonna be? Oh, no, 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 never mind. It's not last enemy overall. That's last enemy of the enemy for the wave. Okay, that makes more sense now. I finally actually, I know how to play. so I got Getter, I got Getter on, I did the mission for Getter, and when I saw that, I was like, I really like, I really like how they did Getter in this game, like, art design-wise. It looks really good. If you don't put off I like it matters, he's dead! <laughs> I don't hate- oh, no, 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 Slep, Slep. I have no pro- no. OG Getter, I like OG Getter. The one I don't like is Getter Robo G. Not OG Getter. OG Getter is fine. G is the one I don't like. Because especially, I love Black Getter from Armageddon, which is the burned version. It's the it's the OG Getter that Ryoma brought back from the moon that was burned black as it, when it re-entered the atmosphere. I love the design of that one in particular. I love that one in particular. Black Getter just Black Getter is a gorgeous design. Like I said, G is the one I don't like because it just looks super cheap. Especially it's Getter 2 and Getter 3 forms, Liger and Poseidon, they look incredibly cheap. Because like I said, original Getter is fine. Original Getter is fine. In fact, I really like original Getter 3 a lot. I'm 
Battleship form, battleship. I don't remember battleship form for G. You're gonna have to like, you're gonna have to remind me of what that one looks like. Cause like I said, G, like I said, G is the one I don't like. I like OG Getter. I like Shin Getter. G is the one I don't like, and I don't remember what bat. I don't remember what battleship form looks like for G. Oh, we got a gold out of that. Oh, Karate legs 28. That's not bad. These though, these can go. Anything under 20 can basically go. There we go. Yes. It was. It, it was in. Oh, that's dragon! Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the battleship form of Shin Dragon. I think it looks a little goofy, but it's not bad. Yeah, no. The battleship form of Shin Dragon at the end of Armageddon isn't bad. Yeah. I think it's a little silly looking, but it's not bad at all. I I, I, I don't treat that as being related. I don't I don't think of that. I'm not gonna, I don't think of that as being related to G. Even if it is, I don't think of it as being related to G. So it took me a second to figure out what the hell you were talking about. Cause like, like, like from my perspective, that thing is entirely sure. It might be made up of a bunch of Getter Robo G's, but I cannot, I can't, I can't think of it as being related to G. Cause the design of it is just so distinctly, is so distinctly different from G. Yeah, that's the one I, I remember G from that and I did not like G in that. I did not like G in that. Cause it just it did not look good. Even in an OVA form where it had more budget behind it, it just doesn't look good. G G does not look good. It looked like I said the problem is it looks cheap. You know what? Fair point. Ah, it's the wrong great sword. Shit. It won't matter though. There we go. Okay, we're back up. Go, 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 go. Love Shin. I don't know if that's separate from Shin Getter 2 and Shin Getter 3, but I love Shin Getter 2 and Shin. I love Shin Getter 2 in particular. It's probably my favorite Getter form. Shin Getter 2 is probably my favorite Getter form overall. It's the Banaki! See, what's next? What's next? What's next? Oh, a purple. Who's gonna be next? You say kick. You say kick. Oh, it actually lines up perfect too. It actually works perfect with Arthur as well. The 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 meteor kick. With the way the legs fold up to actually go for the attack, it works perfect with Arthur. You take it. Epic. Oh 
shit, he actually has the right weapon. Musashi actually, no, Yamato actually has the right weapon for this. <laughs> I didn't even realize I actually had the right weapon equipped to one of them for this. I wasn't even using it this whole time. Horn fusion type. Fuck it, X break. X breaker. That'll bring it down to size. Five hundred twenty-four thousand. That's right. Go home and die. <laughs> Ooh, a gold. A gold out of that, too. Very nice. Man, I legitimately am considering getting the Corona Navi just so I can hear what she has to say because that sounds fucking hilarious to me. Legendary. Ooh. Oh, it's low rank though. Oh, yeah. Jet Scrander. Oh, it's a jet pack. Screw it. We'll do it in the lab. We'll do it in the lab where we don't have to worry about that shit. Like going through them individually. Still can't do those. Hand of Greed. This is reminding me of a certain mission from Armored Core 4. This is reminding me of a certain mission from Armored Core 4 where you basically are just standing on the edge. You're standing on this little cliff, right? You're standing on this cliff and you're basically just popping swarms of suicide drones as they come, as they come towards a space launch facility. I think it was called like, I forget what it was, something of red eyes. I think it was that mission was called because four was weird and the missions actually had names instead of just being named after the objective of the mission. Dangerous desert search. Can't remember what exactly what it was called. It was something, but it was something of red eyes. And I was like, that was the whole thing with it. Is it was this big, it was like you're standing on this outcropping, looking out over the water, and as you were, these swarms of little suicide drones were coming up, and you had to you basically had to pop them like it was skeet shooting. One of the very early missions in AC4. And it really does feel like something that would have been you would have seen in one of the older games too. Especially Nexus. Oh god. That's that stupid helicopter mission in Nexus. I still remember that thing just because of how fucking ridiculous it was. You're literally, it's literally, you start, you see the helicopter, you go knock down the helicopter, you're done. It takes less than it takes less than a minute. It's a mission that takes less than a minute to complete. And it's absolutely ridiculous that that is a thing. That was a thing in the AC4 in general as well. Very, very short, a lot of very short missions. They were not, they had not quite accounted for the increase speed of an AC next. And so you get these absolutely comical moments where you get these absolutely comical missions, moments where you are finishing missions in under a minute. 
They definitely did a much better job of that in for answer. Even though they they really opened the task on just how fast you could move in for answer, even with that, a lot of the missions did feel like they actually had an understanding of how just how fast you actually were. I'm like four. Also, what I'm thinking, if they do a follow-on game to six, the big thing, like I said, I really do hope that when they do a follow-on, if they do a follow-on game to six, they open the combat ranges even just a bit, even just a bit, because that would be huge. Like even opening the combat ranges so that the increments instead of 130 meters were like 300 meters, that would be, or or even just doubling them to 250. That would be huge. For getting rid of shit like the Zim Spammers, which were just the absolute answer of Vanilla AC6, and that's why I basically stopped playing Vanilla AC6. What do we got there? Bonk. Nothing, nothing beyond blue. Okay. Let's see if we got anything better overall. That's going to be the real interesting thing. Did we get anything of interest out of this? Yes. Epic. Ooh, Epic Getter. Epic Getter is very nice. More Epic Majinga as well. Engulfed in flames. Yep, this is this is the one that's basically. So it's swarm of red eyes. I think it was called, something of red eyes. I just can't remember what the first word was. It might have been swarm. It might have been something else. Oh, oh, you're interesting. You actually create a hazard radius around after you die. I'll have to keep that in mind. Woo! The fucking diffusion blaster looks so cool. It is such a cool looking attack with the beam coming out of it like that. Oh man, how many of them are going to have here? Oh, there they go. Watch that radius. Holy shit, there's a whole chain reaction of them just now. Are we gonna have to deal with a super mine now? That would actually be kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie, that would be kind of funny if we dealt with like a super mine. Nah, it's gonna be crabs, okay. It's just gonna be crabs. Okay then, fine, I got this. Yum. 
Let's go, crab. Oh, I want that oh, sweet soft meat me inside your shell. I'm gonna cut right through you. You look delicious. <laughs> Give me that crab meat. Oh, that feels that felt good. That felt real good. Yeah, I'm just running through some side missions right now, Slip. Ooh. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I was like, ooh, at first, and I saw like I saw the ranking and I was like, ah. Ah. That was just sadness. That was sadness when I saw the ranking on it. Laboratory. Recycle. No, no, dismantle first. We gotta go dismantle first. Auto select filters. Yes. Recycle. Let's go for another. Ooh, let's go for another pile of Gatling. I like this weapon a lot. Don't know what it is about it, but I think it's cool. <laughs> that ranks up the box. What do we got here? Volt Knuckle, Bison's Impact. Ignis Dagger. Soul Blader. Heat War Axe. I do like the look of Soul Blader. I'm not gonna lie. It's got like the Bowie, it's got like the clip point going on and then the gun over the top of it. It just looks cool. Thorbreaker, Ignis Dagger looks cool as hell. All Divider, Imperial Halbert, ooh. Let's go for the Ignis Daggers. I like the look of these things a lot. They remind me of the blades from God of War. Just go ahead and recycle that again. <laughs> Bull Destroyer, Army Launcher, Astro Pump Gun, Army Gus. Steel Piercer, Shock Burster. Ooh. Oh, I like the look of this thing. I'm actually going to want to get one of these. Let's see, Melee. I don't have anything new here that I can get. 
let's get a another great sword, I'm thinking. Wanna get another great sword or do I want to get another dual blade actually? I think I'm good on sword and shield for now. No, because we got a dual blade last time actually, so no. Let's get a soul blader. Oh, that's a fantastic color scheme for it. I think here. Probably what we need most is a shotgun. I love thinking about it. In which case, I'm probably gonna go for the Astro Pump Gun. That looks like the caster from Outlaw Star. I love that. I love that already. Gun wise, oh yeah, no, we need to swap that out for sure. We need to swap that out for sure. And then you will swap out for the Astro Pump Gun. Y'all are all good. You will swap out for the Soul Blader. You're still pretty good, actually. I'm not gonna swap out anything. It's gonna be this for the Ignis Daggers. And then you maybe for some other thing. Something else that has a different damage type. Maybe bring back the Getter Tomahawks? Yeah, that works out pretty well. Oh, I've got multiple damage types going on. You're good, you're good, you're good now. Okay. Mm, no, that's good. Okay. Slept. I just didn't realize that they were actually going to spin in-game. I didn't realize they had actually animated that is all. That's all I'm saying there. I was kind of impressed with the fact they actually animated it. Pretty generic boss enemy. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. I was, I've been thinking about it, but I have not. No, I have not gotten it. I, I think I might, though. I think I might just because that sounds fucking great. Ready up. New record. Legendary. Ah. Epic. Ooh. 
the Mazinger as well. 29. That's really good. The 29 Mazinger. That's really good. What's it going to be? Hand of Greed. I play Hand of Greed. That means I win, Yugi. <laughs> It means you don't get to play the game. Mission start. Let's see what kind of shit we're gonna get here. No. Oh, it's the bomb dudes. That's the bomb enemies. That's a green one, but I want it anyways. I want everything. I don't care if you're just green. Strange weapon. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, it's a white one. Kind of lost interest now. I'm gonna get it anyways. Epic. So I was kind of hoping it'd at least be like a, a blue one. One last goot, one last dude to go. And it's a crow. Okay. Diffusion Blaster! Jesus Christ! And then it gets into the combo with the Coliseum Rush! He is not having a good day! This crow is not having a good day! <laughs> oh, perps, 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 perps! Epic. Yeah, it's Joe, it, it's Crover! <laughs> That's what it is, Slep, it's Crover! Turn to mission select. I just realized I could totally do this off stream as well. And I could just like get so many goddamn parts. <laughs> Fuck, we could totally do that, Slip. Like, we're just like fucking around. Like, when we're just fucking around. Like, not even on stream. We could totally do this shit. We don't, we ought to actually. You probably, you've told me we could do that. Fuck, why am I saying this like you don't know that? Mission start. <laughs> Oh, they're fusing. Oh, 
Can we attack him? Oh, we got over a million there. Jesus, he is not having a good day. He is not having a good day. And we're not even using the right weapon for him. That makes it even funnier. <laughs> Nine minutes. Oh, blue cargo. Get him, get him, get him, get him. What do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? Here comes the boss. Also, thank you for that mechanic cat. Just whack my mic as I'm doing that. <laughs> You get in that ass, Ragey! You whoop him! You whoop him! Come on, come on, come on, come on! There we go! Yes! Where are the next two gonna be? Where are the next two gonna be? Oh, never mind. Okay. Our Batman's ass. Our Batman's ass. Our Batman's ass. Our ass. I love that fucking song. It's such a dumb song. Epic. Okay, Wesley Willis. Wesley Willis is great. That's the thing I was there that Wesley Willis is great. That guy was absolutely off, out of his mind, and that's kind of why he did a lot of stuff he did. But he was, like, it's great. Rock and roll McDonald's. Rock and roll McDonald's. Rock and roll McDonald's. Rock and roll McDonald's. I love that song. It's such, it's such dumb little songs, but they're all, they're all just fun. Oh, we got something here. Bam! That's all in there. Okay, go, 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 go. How many more we got? How many more we got? They got on punch right here the 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 guys are explode honestly it's kind of sound weird i kind of want one as like a little pet does that make sense like having that as a little robot not even as a pet that's not the right word for it have one of those as like a robot that follows you around and it opens up and it's got like drinks and shit inside of it it's like a walking robot cooler a walking robot cooler that looks like one of those would be kind of cool like you, you just go up to it, it's like the top of it pops open and you just get drinks out of it. Oh, okay, I get 
優勢キック I don't know what it is. It's like it gives off. Like it's it's a walking landmine that that basically goes off once you destroy it. But it gives off Kerfus vibes, like the same vibe as the little grocery store robot. You know what I'm talking about with the little cat face on it? It gives me the same vibe as that thing. I can't explain it beyond that, but it does. Epic. They are also used in restaurants. Yeah, they're used in both grocery stores and restaurants. The Kerfus one is specific to the grocery store Carrefour, Carrefour? but yeah, those, they use those robots. They use that type of robot in grocery stores and restaurants. So yeah, no, that's like the exact thing you're talking about there, Slup. Let's see here then. I think we're actually gonna call it here for tonight though, because it's getting late. It's getting late. So let's see who's on we can go say hello to, shall we? Ooh, Koopa's playing AC6. Let's see, Koopa's playing AC6. Lava's doing art stuff. Yusha is doing, I don't know what Momodora. Actually, you know what? Yusha hasn't been here in a while. Let's go say hi to Yusha, shall we? Let's go say hi to Yusha, shall we? As always, if you want to see what I'm up to, you can find me in all these wonderful places. Twitter, Discord, if you want to try something a little different. I've also been trying out alternatives, notably Gilded for Discord and Blue Sky for Twitter. As for the raid message, hmm. Hmm, what should the raid message be? Mm. I know the raid message. I know the raid message. Because that's basically what we've been doing this whole time. Dractor bullying hours. And with that, I said everyone here, thank you for joining and good night.